Hello, everyone. Good afternoon from chilly Seattle, but sunny Seattle. How are you all doing today? I am damp because I took a nice shower and my hair is so long now that it takes forever to dry. How are you all doing today? Are you ready for one hell of a show? Because I really hope you are. Today is going to be a wild expose of our not so friend LSP. Gina, that makes me really happy. I am also feeling better today. Um, so we're, I'm glad we're feeling better together. Um, yesterday, I was sore from having my flu shot. For some reason, it just happens now. The flu shot, flu shot never used to do that to me, but it does now. Maybe that's what happens when you approach 30. I don't think so. I think it's just the, the new stuff. Hey, sick. That sounds like a great shampoo. Um, yeah, that sounds really, really good. Um, I wash my hair multiple times a week and I use shampoo, um, usually like once or twice a week, depending because otherwise my hair gets really fucked. So yeah, I only shampoo once in a while. Um, but I give it a good wash with water and whatnot. Um, let's just take a minute. So for all of you who are unaware, for anyone here who didn't see the last panel that I was on on Monday, things got a little spicy. How the fuck do you use conditioner for short hair until it gets long? Well, you just put a little in and you go, and then you go, and then you let it sit. So it soaks all the nutrients in and then you wash it out. That's all. It's all you got to do. It's all you got to do. Nice and easy. You don't have to use as much. Short hair will save you money on conditioner. Just a fact. So, on Monday, I made some nuclear takes. No, I made some takes about nukes that I didn't think would be particularly um, strenuous. You've probably heard as almost as much of it as me. But let me just tell you, everyone, so many people online have come after me over my nuke takes. And as a result, and, and, and sorry, I should say not as a result, one such person decided to lie massively about what I said. So I'm going to show you that just so we have a prep of, of what's actually going on um, going into this whole conversation. So l let me just bring those up real quick. Let me just get those, uh, let's get those tweets up real quick. Just give me just a second here to, to, to patch them all together because as it turns out, there's quite a lot of them. There, there's there's quite a few tweets that were made about me that I really just don't agree with. And um, you, you, I think, will see that it is no has no basis in reality. Let's just give it a second. Hold on. Let me just find these damn tweets. Oh, God. Here is the entire thing. All right. So here's where it starts. See this right here? This is LSP. Welp, Demon Mama wants a strong North Korea with nukes. Leftism. Does anybody remember the time that I said I wanted North Korea? A strong North Korea? Oh, no. Well, here's the thing. Um, Dario, after this, came, had some questions. I'm like, you could not have failed harder at represent my re representing my opinions. This is laughably dishonest. And then Dario hopped in. Then down here, we have uh, LSP saying, lol, I'm dishonestly representing her, but she can't even answer whether or not she's fine with the U.S. and, UK, and, UK, and, US have, or, and North Korea having nukes. Well, because I said, this is a false dichotomy and not what we were discussing in the stream. This isn't a gotcha. I pref we were discussing what is and what we should do, not what we would prefer. I would prefer a world with nukes as all, obviously as laid out above, because I, I actually took some time to explain these positions. So here we go. Here's Mo. Here's here's Mo. Here's more. Um, you said it. We all heard you. Your position was that all countries should be equally strong. The U.S. is the last country which should have nukes, and that a nuclear deterrence protects our protects countries from U.S. imperialism. Not yet, Marinara. We're just reviewing for everyone. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Um, and then I said, you are being both stupid and dishonest right now, because keep in mind, this wasn't the beginning of this thread. Then he gave a couple of clips from the from the stream. 
You might remember this one. Let's watch this together, just so we know that I'm not making shit up. Ready? I have you. I think it's- Here we difference. go. So this was when I was talking to Fnatic and Pisco and, and Dylan a little bit. But let's just listen to this real quick. Culture or religion or what have you. I think you it's- You can say that. You can say that, but- I think for the perspective, you just don't want more powers happening. It's a, it's a numbers game. I don't, I don't want there to be a world in which many Wait, why statistically we're the worst people to have it. We oh, shouldn't have it. We should take it away from us and give it to somebody oh, else statistically. Oh, man. Uh, and that is true. We are the only country that has ever used nukes on another. Uh, oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Rakasan. See, LSP is much weaker in that way than Fnatic. At least Fnatic has the the uh the spine to go mask off lsp will not okay, yeah, we're gonna, okay. okay so that's what i said about the us which i'll stand by if we're going by pure statistics the us is probably every other nation on earth has reason to fear us we blew up two japanese cities with nukes we're the only country to have ever nuked another nation we're the only one so i stand by that now watch this so here you hear mind waves cutting in. I, you don't I believe we should do that right uh, now, uh, right? You don't believe we should what? do that right so now. I brought you don't think I should do what right now? We should de like denuclearize and oh, allow no. others to start different. And he cuts it off right there. He cuts it off before I explain my position on denuclearization and the process that we get there. He left that out deliberately. This is what we call uh, in the business clip chimping. You know, clip. You ever heard the term clip chimping? It's when you know you go eh, eh, and then you slam the keyboard and you get a clip so that you sound like so you can get a quick dunk off on Twitter. Here we go. Here's another one. Let's talk about this. Racist. I believe that they would act in their self interest, and their self interest says if we ever want to be free from the shackles of Russia, of China, of America, or of Europe, we have to build our own nukes unless we think of a different solution like maybe a global disarmament plan maybe we start to look to work together and say wow we're d endangering all of us by allowing any of us to control these weapons yeah maybe japan's right you know, I, okay. I, I, okay. I, I, I just think it's it's not having to do with inherent well, because i'm so there we go here we go again right is everybody yeah i know more nuclear discourse sorry Y'all got to deal with it as long as I got to deal with it. Everybody's jumping on me about this, so we're going to talk about it. Except this one's going to be fun. Because guess what? I don't give a shit about the nuclear discourse. What I give a shit about is why LSP lied, and I'm going to make LSP look like a fucking idiot. Unless he just right up admits that he was a liar. And if he does that, then, well, that's one thing. Voter discourse on bird brain and nuclear discourse on here. Oh, did they do that on bird brain? You had to sit through all of the po all of the Vosh pedophile discourse. Yeah, yeah, this is nothing. This is nothing, and it's still going on. It's still going on with Vosh. <laughs> oh, that's cute, Eudemo Eudemonia, Eudemonian lime. Yeah, this is going to be real interesting. This is going to be real interesting. So those were the two clips that he used in this country, unless every other country's arm now now look at this look at how he lied unless every other country disarms other nations should get nukes for anti-imperialism that is not what i said i said unless every other country disarms other nations will seek nukes in order to be able to resist imperialism there's a big difference between those two things isn't there see see where he's starting to get a little bit more deliberately dishonest now you know all of this would be one thing but there's a little more that makes it just a, just a tiny bit personal. Let's scroll down here. Y'all know who this is? Anybody know who this guy is? You know who Kraut is? You know who Kraut is? Kraut and T? Ever heard of him? You might know him. Um, Vosh has had a debate with him. Um, he's been on a couple of uh, couple of different things. He's an old anti-SJW guy. Left the business a while ago, I guess. Um, yeah, uh, cr yes. Sauerkraut is made of cabbage. But no, um... I don't know why he called himself Kraut. Yeah, he used to be called Kraut and T um, on YouTube. He used to do anti-SJW content. Doesn't do it anymore. Retired from the business. I don't know what he does now. Except hang around and, and occasionally appear on panels once in a while. Who is Demon Mama, says Kraut? LSP, a crazy person who thinks that everywhere having nukes is a great idea. Laughing my fucking ass off. Damn, does that sound anything like what I said? Does that sound like anything even remotely close to my position huh just let's let that one sink in 
So what do we have on our hands here? Is LSP being a weaselly little fucking liar, dude? A weaselly little fucking liar. And here's the thing. Being a weaselly liar, if you're a fucking zero follower Andy or whatever, um, is, uh, you know, is one thing. But this is another content creator. This is somebody I've made content with. Oh, hey, what's this? Wow, this is a little weird. This is a little weird, isn't it? He's doing this shit again. Anybody remember when he did this before? I feel like I showed these already. Look at this. Yeah, look, he's drawing fucking faces on people. Your mom. You take the internet too seriously. Blah, blah, blah. Here he goes. Look at all this shit. Also, by the way, Marinara, just gonna say, you're really pretty. There you go. There's the shout out. No parasocial arena, but you're really pretty, all right? There you go. Bam. Just saying. Just saying. Just throwing that out there. Um, yeah. Um, holy shit. So, yeah. Um, Weasley Little Liar. Weasley Little Liar. LSP has, again, gone after random people while he's a a colleague of mine. We've made content together. We've been on panels together. And I would never lie about LSP's position. But this is like the third or fourth time that LSP has specifically gone, taken time out of his day to go after me. And not only that, but done so dishonestly and rudely. So, y'all, we're at the end of the chances. That was one, two, three motherfucking strikes. And now it's fucking time to turn up the heat. So that's what's going to happen today. That's what you all are going to see today. And then, and then afterwards, we have a panel to go on. The panel today is going to be super interesting. It's going to be super interesting. Oh, he hasn't made one. That's why this is going to be really funny. This is not going to be a debate. This is going to be an expose on LSP being a fucking liar. If you wanted a debate, sorry, this isn't what you should have tuned in for. This is going to be me digging into LSP until he admits he was wrong or else is shown as being wrong. That's my goal here because I'm pretty much done with his shit. Um, this is a, yeah, this is time for those fucking nuclear dunks. I've been, I've been, listen, yesterday was the day for nice conversations. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Lisp. Um, there was something I was going to say. Oh, yes, yes. I need to talk about the panel because afterwards we're going to be going on a wild panel. It's going to be very, very interesting. This panel is going to be real quick here. Hippy dippy, right? Hey, boycott is real good to see you today. Um, we are going to be going on hippy dippy podcast with Riley Grace Roshong, Operation Madman, Bastiat, critically thinking veteran and last username. There is most likely going to be blood because these are the topics. The topics we will be talking about tonight on Hippy Dippy are one, should healthcare have to cover gender reassignment surgery? Good ass topic. I know a lot about this. We're going to be talking about it. Two, should the Democrats pack the Supreme Court if the Republicans nominate Amy Coney Barrett? Also very interesting um, topic. Three, should we get rid of the Electoral College, also a very interesting topic. So we have a whole bunch of really wild stuff to talk about. This is going to be a good show. So get comfy and get ready for a good time. Also, Rakasan, I did indeed get my voter pamphlet, and we will be going over that on the next stream that I do because that's going to be really fun, and I want to have some time to read it and find the good ones, and then we'll go over them because there's some fun stuff. Yeah, as all of my, now listen, I've been on with last username many times. We disagree on a lot. However, he's quite, he's quite polite and capable of engaging in meaningful discourse. I don't always agree with him. Sometimes I think that he um, is a little bit uh, libertarian poisoned. Um, I don't even want to say libertarian. He's ANCAP poisoned, um, but that's okay. Whatever. Um, critically thinking veteran. I've never been on a panel with critically thinking veteran, at least that I know of. I don't think I have been. Um, that I can recall and he's pretty nice as far as I've seen every panel I've seen him on he's I don't like his takes I think his takes are atrocious, but he's nice enough to engage with we'll see how spicy it gets <laughs> Is it a dumb bug? A dumb bug? Ooh. 
We get the ooh emotes. We don't have an ooh emote here because I don't really come from that culture. You know, I don't really, I feel like it would be DGG appropriation for me to have ooh emotes in chat. That's like a destiny thing. That's not really my thing. Um, where are we at now for time? We still got a bit of time. You think ooh will be the new Pepe? How do you mean? You think ooh is going to spread that far? Really? You think it'll spread that far that there's going to be like variations like this? Maybe. Maybe. Destiny does have a huge reach. You bought ooh stock? Mmm, you might have made a mistake. Damn. Might have been a little bit too early. Um, wait, is that, um, Johnny Scarlet? Johnny Scarlet? Um, is moderate extremism? No, not really. That doesn't really make sense, but I, I kind of get what you're trying to aim at. You mean like he's not a Nazi is what you're trying to say. You're saying he's not a Nazi, but he's still far right, which means, yeah. Okay. Johnny Scarlet. Well, I like Johnny Scarlet, so yeah, I like, I really like Johnny Scarlet. Like they're really fucking cool. Oh, oh, okay. Interesting. So wait, do you mean an extremist centrist? A centrist extremist? Those do exist. A radlib or a radcon, I guess? I don't know. I, I don't fucking know. What, what the fuck is this shit? This sounds like some made up bullshit. <sighs> so we have a few minutes before stream and I wanted to do something fun before we get into the spicy content. So why don't we watch... The new Gravel, Gravel video. Let's watch it. Let's give the Gravel one a watch. Here we go. They have a new one called The Truth About the Civil War. And it's just enough time for us to watch it and talk about it. CTV is a Trumpist Armageddonist? What? Okay. Okay. Very far right, but not so far right that it goes into crazy territory. More like very anti-left. That just sounds like a Nazi. I'm sorry. That just sounds like a like a like a religious fascist. All right, let's watch this shit together. Let's give this a watch. Come on, let's do some Mike Gravel. Let's do some Gravel Institute. Let's enjoy this. Come on, let's have some fun. Let's do something fun before we get into the screaming. Yeah, this does sound like five different people. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Castle, you haven't missed anything yet. We're just about to begin. We're going to watch this Gravel cartoon, and then afterwards, we're going to be going on to Dylan's... Dylan is moderating a debate. A debate between LSP and I. And we're going to be coming in real hard. All right, this will be interesting then. Let's watch this. What do you know about the American Civil War? Just saying these words, the Civil War, probably brings some familiar images to mind. Northern soldiers in Union blue marching against Southern troops in Confederate gray. Epic battles at Shiloh and Gettysburg. Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation and the end of slavery. Nice. The victory of the Union over the Confederacy. But there's something else you should know about that era. Something that ties these events together and that you probably didn't learn in school. The Civil War was also America's greatest left-wing revolution. Ooh. Here's how. In the early 19th century, African slavery was the foundation of social and economic life in the American South. Millions of black workers were owned as property by wealthy planters who denied them education, controlled their family lives, and reaped the fruits of their labor. This system True. was wildly profitable, and the wealth it produced allowed a tiny elite to dominate Southern and national politics. And before the Civil War, it was expanding all across the Western Hemisphere. In 1860, between the United States, Brazil, and Cuba, there were more enslaved people than ever before. For years, a small group of American abolitionists had denounced slavery as an abomination. These radical activists were scorned by much of society and ignored by both the two mainstream political parties. But in the 1850s, as slaveholders tried to extend slavery across the West, their opponents made a breakthrough. The old two-party system melted down, and the new Republican Party won massive Northern support by opposing slavery's expansion while putting bondage itself on a road to ultimate extinction. The abolitionists broke through, in part, because they named the slave power as the oppressive ruling class that it was. They pointed out that slaveholders were just 1% of the population, but somehow controlled every branch of government. They argued that black bondage was not just morally wrong, but a threat to free labor everywhere. 
The struggle between anti-slavery and slavery, said Abraham Lincoln, was part of the eternal struggle between the common right of humanity and the divine right of kings. The same spirit that says, True. you toil and work and earn bread and I'll eat it. It was the common worker, black or white, against the rich. He does, I was gonna These say that. These populist Mariner. assaults on the ruling class helped Lincoln's party win the election of 1860. Contemporaries called it a political revolution. Its threat to slaveholders was so serious that they formed their own separate republic, the Confederate States of America. In the Civil War that followed, the Traitorous states were clear. motherfuckers. The Union fought against human bondage, for a democratic majority, and for the dignity of all labor. The Confederacy fought to preserve bondage and elite rule. Confederates fought, as Lincoln told Congress in 1862, to put capital, that's wealth measured in human beings, above labor in the structure of government. Enslaved laborers understood these stakes. Hundreds of thousands fled I'll to explain, Union lines shortly. even before emancipation was proclaimed. Radical abolitionists knew it too. Frederick Douglass barnstormed the country, rousing black men to enlist in the Union Army. By war's end, around 200,000 black soldiers and sailors had taken up arms to crush the rebellion. The cause of the Union was the cause of the international left. While conservative aristocrats and capitalists in Europe sympathized with the Confederacy, radicals and labor organizations supported the Union. In 1864, a German journalist named Karl Marx well, accurate, declared that the American anti-slavery war would launch a new era of ascendancy for the working class. Emancipation, true. as Marx understood, was not a middle-class reform project. It was a true social revolution. Only in the United States and in Haiti was emancipation sudden, uncompensated, and enforced by former slaves themselves. That revolution remains incomplete. After the war, former slaves and radical Republicans were defeated by what the scholar W.E.B. Du Bois calls a counter-revolution of property, led by former slaveholders and conservative businessmen. Under the terror of Jim Crow segregation, many of the Civil War's victories for labor and for democracy were rolled back, but not all. The destruction of American chattel slavery was a historic and enduring victory. It meant that black Southerners were able to create the schools and the churches that seeded their later fight against Jim Crow. It radically expanded American democracy and made the modern labor and civil rights movements possible. The Civil War was America's greatest left-wing revolution. Even now, its work remains unfinished. But every left-wing struggle for the rule of democratic majorities, for the rights of labor over property, and for meaningful freedom and equality can claim its legacy. I'm Matt Karp, Associate Professor of History at Princeton University. Damn, for the Princeton! Institute. Remember how, you know how PragerU always has to get like random bottom of the barrel, like I'm from Christian University of rural Alabama, and that's where they pull their guys from, where they'll be from a think tank, like they'll be like, oh, I'm the leader of studies at the Cato Institute. Yeah, look at that. We get real historians here. We get some real credentials on the table. Thank you for watching this hey, video. Hey, that was pretty good. And I was right. I predicted what they were going to talk about, which is this idea that, um, so in a lot of American schools, and you, you may have actually grown up with this. You may have grown up with this story. The idea that like, oh, it wasn't, you know, the union, the, 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 the civil war wasn't about slavery it was about economics it was about oh it was about economics now that's true for some people but as it turns out there was actually an enormous anti-slavery push from abraham lincoln himself who at the time was exchanging letters with our good friend carl marx isn't that weird isn't that weird yeah, see, there's some people who will say, oh, well, you know, the, the South was outpacing the North because of their slave labor, and so the North needed to take out the South. And that, some, play, some people will teach you that, but that's not true. Yeah, he was brainwashed by Marx. George Soros went back in time and gave Marx money in order to buy off Abraham Lincoln. That's how it goes. Or maybe it was Hunter Biden or some shit like that. I don't know. I mean, of course, everything is about economics to some degree, but... The war was not just some, yeah, it was the Clintons, maybe. Um, the war was not just some economic struggle between North and South. It was very much so a principled battle about ending slavery once and for all. Of course, nothing is truly done once and for all. But in America, that ended slavery. 
of course, there's a whole lot we're going to, and we're going to talk about this in the future because I'd love to talk about this, but in the, re, in the Reconstruction era and in then the, the, which led into the Jim Crow era, um, a lot of, a lot of rights, or I should say a lot of the structures of slavery were, were, um, preserved in sort of, um, slightly different ways. So for example, a lot of freed slaves then became sharecroppers, which meant they basically stayed in the same place and had slightly more freedoms, slightly higher chance to get out of it. Um, but you know, but they were more or less in the same conditions that they'd been living in and had nowhere to go. Oh, oh, Peacecraft, don't, don't be silly. Dylan was the one who fired first shot. So, um, we were, we were certainly aggro on each other, but I would not, I don't think, uh, I don't think it's fair to claim that I was the only aggro one. Um, Dylan and I are, are very good friends and we understand the, uh, the intensity of debate that can happen, uh, between one another. I mean, after all, he did call my opinion a dumb fuck opinion before I even said anything else. So, yeah, yeah, I was, Dylan, I will agree with you. Dylan was very aggro yesterday, and I responded with equal aggro, but that's okay. We are very good friends. We both understand the performance. We both understand the fun, and I had a very nice conversation with Dylan afterwards, although it was on a sad topic, which, you know, unfortunately, um, his channel is, you know, he's probably going to be scaling back his channel for a little while because, um, he didn't make partner again somehow. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's okay. You're wrong. And that's all right. Yeah. No, it wasn't a flame war. I thought it was really good. Oh, Dylan's very funny when he aggros. I, I would gladly deal with an aggro Dylan, um, any day, um, over somebody like Fnatic or whatever. Although Fnatic was very fun to argue with. Let me just see how we're doing on time. We got about four minutes. Um, yeah, Peacecraft, you know what, if you want to, um, cause I saw you talking mad shit in, in the chat, cause a bunch of people linked me VODs and shit, and I happened to see in the VOD record, you were talking mad shit, after all this is over, if you want to talk with me, we can have our own little talk about nukes, and I'll blow you the fuck out too, everybody can just get in line, line up, bam, 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 bringing them all down, one, two, three, four, five, all of them, one after another, one after another, But yeah, let me just see, um, let me just text uh, Dylan real quick. You click my, Bi wait, does he make you click a Bible? I don't think, I, I don't think his server actually has that uh, much people in it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, um... Hmm. Yeah, it was wild to listen to. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, Peacecraft, I don't know if you caught it, but Dylan went up against Fnatic after um, we went back and forth, and um, and it was... And, and uh, Fnatic only lasted 18 minutes before he dropped an Arsler, and Dylan kicked him off the channel permanently. Because that's very much against Dylan's rules. Dylan does not allow any sorts of slurs, and doesn't even really like swears all that much. Although I'm, I swear like a sailor, because that's just the way that I am. Spent many t much time at sea, anyway. Yeah, um, well, oh, because you're not going to get yours? Yeah, apparently there's huge delays. There's, like, massive delays on, as we predicted. Um, yeah. Dylan, listen, we disagree on a lot of things, but one thing I, I really respect Dylan about is Dylan's views on religion. Dylan has really, really... <laughs> Oh my god, Peacecraft, you snowflake! The criminalization of the R word? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, this is called um Peacecraft. There's this um there's this thing. It's called uh society moving forward. You know, society improves. You know, a lot of people used to call each other the F slur um back in the 90s too. And it turns out that was kind of hurtful, and a lot of people suffer from that. So we don't do it anymore, or a lot of people don't. Yeah. Damn, Peacecraft. Have you been like, you've been, have you been a little grumpy lately? 
you've been a little grumpy lately. Some of your takes lately have been way off the mark. Yes, I will be sure. I, I always put my ballot in the security sleeve. I, yes, okay, so don't fucking, don't tape your ballot. Make sure your ballot's in security sleeves if you're doing things by mail. Um, yeah, that could be boycott. It's not looking, now here's the thing. It's still possible. I watched a video yesterday about a, a um, scheme, which it appears the Republicans are trying to pull, um, that ha has a few weak spots. Um, let me just see. Okay, so Dylan is saying we're not going to be using whereby. Um, but anyway, we'll talk about that after because we might have some time between now and the panel. And if that's the case, we can talk about that. I'll, we'll watch the um, the segment that I was talking about. Does anybody here watch act.tv? I've never seen them before. Um, I've heard of them before, but act.tv um, had a a video. You work at a grease ball shot. In insults are common. Wait, what do you mean? Insults? Yeah, no, I meant I meant your 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 marks have been off. Your takes have been off. You would like to pick Dylan's brain on Aquinas? Yeah, I'm sure that Dylan would would have some. Um, donuts, probably. Well, damn, Peacecraft. That sucks. What a hostile work environment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Mariner. Good question. Ah, uh, okay. That's good. Well, that's good. That's That's good. Um, let me see here. Let me go get in Dylan's server real quick. Hmm. I'm going to deafen myself and hop on in. Eh. Sounds pretty shitty, dude. But I get it. Not every place, uh is quite up to up to snuff not every place is quite up to snuff actually we're gonna we're gonna leave push to talk on today because i want to be able to chat with y'all like to add, add act dot when james with it with, with was with them i don't know james that's the thing i don't know anything about act tv i just saw one of their videos the other day that was sent to me by a um by a friend well a colleague uh, i guess it's not fair to call them a friend but somebody i work with on this site they sent me a video and said hey you should check this out it's pretty interesting and as it turns out it was very interesting um yeah but 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 that doesn't mean you have to use slurs Maybe it's just a place you could improve on. Hey, 1864. It's a long, t long time no see. Happy to have you back again. I remember you. Welcome back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can be more creative. Pog, happy to have you back, 1864. Dude, are you double vaccinated? What does that even mean? Is that like an autistic slur? Are you like trying to make a joke about somebody being autistic? That's extra shitty. That's actually, in my opinion, worse than the R slur. Um, yeah, I find that that stuff real shitty. I don't know if we're doing video, um, but we'll see. Yeah, I, I come down on people using autistic as a slur. I come down as people using it as an insult. Um, it annoys me. I don't like it. Um, yeah. Yeah. The euphemism treadmill? I don't know. It sounds like something that might get me TOS'd. Eh. Oh, interesting. That's cool. Oh, it's not TOS? All right, maybe we'll watch it after. We'll see how much time we have. I don't know how long. I don't know how long um, LSP is going to double down for. So we'll find out. We'll find out.
You like the word doofus. Yeah, I don't think it's a slur. I mean, here's the thing. There are terms that are technically ableist, like stupid, idiot, dumb, even crazy. All these things are um, certainly um, ableist in their, in, to some degree. Um, however, um, there is certainly a range, and the, 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 the place where I start to determine um, where I'm going to draw lines. Hey, Supreme. Supreme, thank you so very much for the gifted subs. That's incredibly generous of you. Happy Halloween. Um, I, 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 I forgot to tell you, I really, really like your, uh, your Halloween rebranding. Thank you so very much. Oh, you're, you're fine. Listen, it happens sometimes, okay? Listen, don't worry. I've been cranky too. It, it, it's in the past. It's water under the bridge. Much love to you, and thank you very much for the support. I really, really appreciate that. Um, everyone who just got a sub from Supreme, be sure to be thankful in chat. Um, that sort of generosity is what makes this show possible. So, hey, sourcing support got one. That's cool as fuck. Hey, look at that. Look, now you, everybody's got pompos. Everybody can get the molds out when shit starts to heat up in here, inevitably. We're just waiting a few minutes here until the thing begins. Pompo modifiers? Yes, there will be modifiers. It's just a matter of time. I just have to get, I'm just waiting to get the work done. It works, based capitalism. <laughs> Listen, okay, I'm not gonna lie. If somebody buys me a nice gift, that does make me feel good. So there is some truth to that. However, there are many other ways to, to I, listen, fine. In this case, in this one very, very small instance, base capitals. That's it. That's all you'll ever get. That's it. This one instance. It's going to be hard for y'all to clip chimp that one. You haven't missed anything big yet, Gayfesh. We just watched the new Gravel Institute, and we're waiting for the call with LSP to begin. It'll just be a minute. Uh, Dylan's just, uh, tenderizing his stream right now. You know? You know what you do when you, like, tenderize the chat? <sighs> yeah, we'll have Pompo modifiers. You guys will be able to get a big stretched Pompo. Y'all be able to get a, a Pompo with a gay flag. Whatever. We'll do all kinds of cool shit. We're gonna have crazy cool shit on there. It's just a matter of time. I just have to actually get it set up, and that's just a matter of working with the admin. Dylan had a lot of spice yesterday. It's gonna be spicy today, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. He did indeed. I respect Dylan a lot. And Dylan is about the same level of spice as me. Sometimes we both go, we get, we jump to the, we jump the gun a little bit, but it's okay. And Dylan and I will always, I, I, I can't imagine Dylan and I having any sort of major falling out over something as small as like a political disagreement, like a minor political disagreement. Depends, of course. M maybe if he started like endorsing, I don't know, Donald Trump or something. I don't know. Fuck. Yeah. Fanatic freaked out. In Hey, good news, everyone. Great news. Um, yeah, I, I, I think Dylan would. I think Dylan has a YouTube channel. Good luck. That would be a heel turn. I would mutate into the Hulk. Yeah, you could. Um, he might really appreciate that. Um, he might really appreciate that. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, fuck. Um... The Fanatic video on YouTube is my most successful video ever on YouTube. Most successful. You all helped make that happen. Your comments, your likes made that video go up, 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 up. And there's been all kinds of people watching it. So thank you. Thank you for taking the time to put any comment on there that you want to. If you comment or like on my videos, you are as good as an angel to me. Because that shit genuinely helps. So thank you all very much. It's doing Mwah. The demon mama stonks are going. Wah. Does the number of nukes you, you have matter past the point of being able to hit most major cities? Not really. Not really, in my opinion. The number doesn't matter. Once you get to a point where you could basically bury the planet in a nuclear winter, it doesn't matter anymore. Number doesn't matter. However, a number might matter. Um... Um, number might matter uh, when you're like talking about like how you do a disarmament program. Like if you go, okay, this country is going to get rid of 40. Everybody wait. Okay. Other country gets rid of 40 nukes. Okay. 40, 40, 40, 40. Okay. You both have 10 nukes left. Okay. Both of you get rid of your nukes at the same time. One, 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 one. Everybody's got one nuke. Bam. Get rid of them. 
So would a good gesture of reducing your own nuclear arms if, say, uh, Iran agrees to not pursue be feasible? I think so. Yeah, but, but, okay, yes. There are always going to be the chance that, that nukes could be hidden. But that's the case no matter the state of the world. What we have to do is we have to agree to unilaterally allow third-party inspectors to go check around. Um, don't they degrade and need to be kept modern, but they don't always decommission older ones? But I I'm not 100% sure about that one. Well, yeah, well, and guess what, Peacecraft? That's the world that you hope for. That's the world that you hope for, and you're black-pilled as fuck. And that's fine. If you want to be black-pilled as fuck, if you want to be black-pilled as fuck, of uh, why we do it to other nations, if you want to be black-pilled as fuck, we're gonna, then this planet will end in nuclear holocaust. And if that's what you want, and if that's the world that you really think is, otherwise we have to start thinking a little bit bigger. Otherwise we really got to start thinking a little bit bigger because we'll never, you, if, do you think that like a bunch of independent nation states will be able to continue and like continue the human race into the world of climate change, into the world of like colonizing space? Nah. That's not material realism, my dude. That's that's material denial. It's you being so scared of other human beings and of rationality that you're willing to endanger the entire planet just because you're afraid and just because you can't acknowledge that other humans are also rational. Yeah, everyone thinks their subjective opinion is material realism. Yeah, exactly. What's going on here? What's happening? What's happening? What's what's fucking happening here? We're running late. We're running late. Let me see here. Let's see what's going on. Let's check in on the Dylan Burns TV. What's happening here? Let's check in on what's happening. I hate these ads, but this is a bop. Even though I want partner like a lot, like I set goals for myself and partner was a goal I set Let's for watch. myself that I really want to achieve, right? It's a trophy I really wanted to put on my wall. Like, at the end of the day, what does the check mark really change that? It has much? been wild. It doesn't change shit about my has. stream, does it? It doesn't make my stream like ten times better. It maybe it gives me a few more tools to make content, but fundamentally, the content creation happens between me and you. Some emotes and this will be fun. Some inside jokes. What we do on stream is not going to change anything. Like, just like IRI just said in chat, he got zero nudes for getting partner, which honestly I think should be illegal, but you know, that's just how it is. So, basically, I'm just gonna do what I wanna do on stream and just have fun. We stan so, Dylan. Today we have a conversation scheduled between Demon Mama and LSP on nuclear weapons. Um, that's what we're gonna talk about for a little bit. And then after that, I'm going to watch the Trump Town Hall, do some singles content. Okay? Everybody cool? Okay. <laughs> LSP. LSP, like, get, get, okay, okay. Here we go. All right, it's going to start soon. Are you all ready? You were ready for this shit? Yeah, some serious sincerity from Dylan. Dylan is really great, and I will always stand Dylan. Because I think Dylan is a good friend. <sighs> if people can already prime sub, oh, you get you get a higher percentage of um, you get a higher percentage um, you get a higher percentage. You get a higher percentage of all your stuff. So there's a lot of good reasons. And you also get better tools. Your VODs last in indefinitely. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. You get more. You get way more emote slots. Um, isn't being <laughs> ironically detached part of the Twitch partner TOS? I don't know about that. The VODs thing is big. You get, yeah, you get unlimited time for your VODs. Um, you get, you get, um, listed preferentially. You're, you can be, fe you have to be a partner in order to be featured on the front page. If I remember correctly. Oh, it looks like they're, uh, looks like we're doing this. You ready? At 19 years old with hair like that, fucking sexy as shit, bring in the good shit. Hello. And now I'm like, Soma better be good is all I'm going to say. You better make this shit up with some good ass Soma. Hmm. 
I, I okay. Hello. Well, I don't know what the future of Hippy Dippy is gonna be. Um, I'd like to continue it. It's just people. It's it's hard to manage people. It really is. I I do volunteer management for a living, and it's really hard to do that. Come home and then do more volunteer management, and it's with streamers yeah, who are a lot less punctual than. Like, I, I got a job players. too. Like I I know what this is like. I I sympathize. Yeah. So I, and I don't intend to stop my foreign policy stuff. I got a lot of stuff scheduled. Hey, this Monday I'm going to be debating Kevin Castley, man. Yeah. Oh, where are we going to finally solve the uh, the great final solution to the North Korean question? Yeah, we're going to finally have the debate on North Korea. Yeah, we're oh, finally that's doing it. Be fun. So oh. that's gonna that's gonna be fun. And and I and I and I'm gonna and I'm going to do a lot more debunking of like foreign policy conspiracy stuff, like the oil war concept and the fucking um. Thank you. Um, Wait, can I'm I gonna... suggest some to? Can I suggest some? Um. Well, sure. For for a few seconds, but then we got to have this conversation with Dima Mama, who's currently muted. Oh, whatever reason why am i muted yeah. you did and and she deafened had, she, no i'm not oh there we go there yeah. we go i'm not i'm here hey demon mama yeah i'm here hello how are you doing hello never mind wait okay what the... there are like three truisms that like people repeat that drive me nuts and you probably know what sorry two about of them that at least are. i'm here one of them it... oh never mind we'll we'll get to it later yeah. hey demon mama hello. uh sorry, sorry it that. took me a little bit of time i just i needed to find a time to say that and uh, I was gonna do it today. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no worries, no stress at all. We're we're having yeah. a good ass time over here. Demon Wonderful. Mama, my homie from another home. Don't even try LSP. <laughs> yeah, I can't make okay. that shit rhyme. So yeah. So I'm gonna. So I wanna. Maybe you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna. I'm gonna seclude myself in a cave when it comes to debates, and it's gonna be like like a traveler is gonna come by one day and yeah. be like, Dylan, were you were you the debate man? I was the debate man, young one. I need you to moderate a debate. It's it's a fate in the world since like I don't do that anymore. And I'll have a drinking oh, problem. It'll be great. Lost. It'll be great. Yeah. A drinking problem. Please don't develop that. It's very bad for your liver. <laughs> I've never touched alcohol in my life. Um, That's respectable. It is a thing. So try it at least once. It's good fun. Uh, it's alcohol is connected to trauma. Anyway. Oh, okay. Uh, I feel you. So we're going to have a conversation today about nuclear weapons again but this one was a little bit more heated in twitter than post normals so uh today i'm going to give uh lsp the the starting block the st starting gun nice because he was the one saying things about the statement you made so i think he should go first to like sure. say the disagreement sure i'm sorry i just ate a chicken nugget as you said that okay that was really stupid of me <clears throat> okay so probably the biggest issue i had um was like with you demon mama you were tap dancing between two different positions oh, totally and yeah on one hand you seem to put forward a descriptive position that nations uh like just a realist position they'll just pursue nukes is just a matter of game theory mm -hmm. which I, you incorrectly use game theory but that's whatever because it protects them from imperialism and then you would switch gears to this normative position where you'd argue the exact same thing from a first person's perspective but then you would say sure it would be great if like no nukes ever existed so the confusion i have my personal confusion and apparently the confusion of a lot of other people who watched this and came away with the exact same conclusion I did mm. uh, was whether or not you believe in nuclear peace theory. And Dylan offered a position about how nuclear proliferation was bad. You pushed back with some considerable disagreement. So let's clear this straight up. Excuse me. So let's clear this straight up and not hide behind somebody else's position that you're pretending isn't yours. Let's figure out what you actually mm -hmm. believe. So my question is, if the United States refuses to disarm their nuclear stockpile, are you of the position that it is in the best interest of countries like North Korea to pursue their own nuclear arsenal. Wait, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that question again? The question is, if the United States will not disarm itself, mm -hmm. are you of the position that it's in North Korea's best interest to pursue nuclear weapons of their own? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Easy answer. Of course. And the funny thing is, um, now that you've gotten your, um, your like... Uh, posturing and whatnot out of the way we can we can get to the meat of the issue issue which is that not only um did you explicitly lie about my position online um but you also had a whole lot of really rude things to say about me before i even engaged with you on it you also avoided tagging could, me could you send is, me the thread by the way yeah so absolutely it, yeah i can get you okay. the i can get you that thread give me just a second here it'll take me just a second we were just looking at on it um at it on stream give me just one moment here yeah here we go um, so here's the one right here. 
and not only that, so here's the thread, and there's basically everything involved with this. Uh, here, Dylan, I'll, I'll DM it to you in uh, in Discord real quick. Blam, there you are. So here's the here's the start, which uh, I'll just read out the tweet so we understand what was said about my position. Um, Welp, and this is LSP. Welp, Demon Mama wants a strong North Korea with nukes. Leftism. Um, he followed this up with a whole lot of other things, include calling me um, a crazy person who supports uh, worldwide nuclear armament. Um, positions which, you know, when he was pressed by, mind you, other people um, to back these up with clips, he provided one clip which literally cut my sentence off in which I was talking about my position, um, furthering his, his own un, uh, dishonest framing, and then a second one which directly contradicts what he said um online so it's just really funny that you would try to come in here and reframe the conversation in a way that's favorable to you in whatever way um when you've just been straight up lying about me online to people who are actually in our space people that we consider our colleagues and listen there's a lot of spice in this space right we go back and forth on all kinds of issues all the time but where i draw the line is when you start straight up lying about people that you work with regularly, who are on a, fr a friendly level with you, at least for the most part. And this isn't the first time that you've done this LSP, not at all. It's just, it's particularly annoying because I, I took a lot of time um, actually going through my positions on this on the panel, which you then misframed to multiple people, which resulted not, it's funny that you said at the beginning, you said, um, oh, a bunch of people seem to have issues with it. Well, guess what? Almost no one actually had an issue with my position. A lot of people saw your thread about it, read what you said, and took that assumption and then came at me with it, which has led to me having like six different discussions going back and explaining how you're a goddamn liar about the things that you put on Twitter. And all of this, it seems, for like a handful of likes, to me, that just seems incredibly embarrassing. Um, and if we really want to talk about nukes, I mean, I made my positions very clear yesterday. That would be a much better conversation than any conversation I could ever have with a dishonest weasel like you. But I will, I will gladly entertain it if you so desire. Okay, so we're, we're going to start this whining. Um, you know, oh, so yeah, you think that's first, whining? The, me me exposing I, you for being an absolute yeah. liar about my position? Yeah, absolutely. You, you if that's mama, whining, okay, sure. Okay, wait, before, before, we, mama, go any, before, we, go, well, before we go any further, uh, in this thread, I found two clips that uh, LSP provided. Mm -hmm. uh, can we look at those clips sure. quickly? Go ahead and play Wonderful. the first one and pay close attention to what happens at the very end of that clip, where he decided to cut it off. Okay. Let me let me play the first clip uh, with our favorite fan, uh, our favorite fan, Fnatic in the left hand I'm corner. I'm turning it off. This is going to play. Um, sorry, I'm just explaining to my chat. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, sure. yeah, we can't watch this part, so. We're doing a throwdown. Hey, what? I'm so glad I brought this. You don't think I should do what right now? We should de like denuclearize and oh, allow no, no, no. other differences in culture, okay. or religion, or whatever. Uh, and that ended with mind waves asking you a question about denuclearization. Yes, it did, and I and began to answer, right in which I said, uh, "He said, oh, do you think that the United States should get rid of their nukes right now?'" And I said, "Oh no," and then it cut off right there. It's really funny. It's almost like I was going to say, oh, no, that would be ridiculous. And that goes against everything that I was saying. But it's really funny. Okay, no, LSP, happy. wait a minute, wait a second. Don't be rude now. Don't wait, be rude. I never even got to like, answer. Yeah, except, except because, because what's happening. I never even got the answer. Is this LSP, I was literally in the middle of a sentence when you started cutting in. So you, you don't need to answer. Mark, this is me pointing it. out the position that you oh, refuse to con include in the clip. So what this is called, like we call this in the business, some people in chat may be feeling this, this is called a clip yeah, chimp. Know. It's when you cut something deliberately to make somebody look bad. And that's what you did. And you've just been shown doing that. So let's go on to the second clip if you'd like to, or you can say whatever you want. Dylan, can I like address her? Or are we just gonna like, should I just leave a cardboard cut out for me so she can talk to that? No, you, you, can, you can respond. Okay, I've been trying to respond for a while. Firstly, with the performative whining, um, no bullshit. You, our, your, our very first interaction was you calling me stupid and telling me I need to take history lessons. I don't know if you fucking forgot about that, but I certainly didn't forget about that. So I don't know why you think I would ever show you any ounce of respect. We've mm. never been friends. We've never been colleagues, and I have no intention of ever being friends with you. Sorry, who's whining now? 
I'm explaining to, uh, to you. Because I, I think I remember our first interaction Again, pretty well. Marma, I'm talking. I let I let you finish. Try to restrain yourself. No, you didn't actually. Right? Here's, here's the logic train, right? Since I got to spell it out for you. The reason I tweeted that, because it seemed like an obvious conclusion based on what you said. And you said, and I'm quoting here, you here, if all humans on the planet were at an evil, equal level of power, absolutely, I would love that. Sorry, I do not believe in natural hierarchies. That's just how you beat the world to new. That just because you beat the world to nuclear power, that you therefore have a right to dominate the world. So when you say that you would love it if all humans are e at an equal level of power, I'm going to assume that you're including North Korea in this this equation. Weird. You would love it. You yeah, You would love it if it, states like Iran and North Korea, the former of which, by the way, you say it was being bullied by the West. You necessarily are including them when you declare how you dislike the power hierarchies and want them all to have equal power in a conversation about nuclear proliferation and doing this all while extolling the virtues of nuclear proliferation. Okay, so let me just, um, you literally answered your own question with my previous quote, because there's this really funny thing. There's a difference between people and states, LSP. You literally read my own quote back to me. I want all humans to be equal. I do not believe in hierarchies. Literally, I am very, very keen on, uh, you know, I'm very, very close at heart to these sort of anarchistic principles that we should look to remove hierarchies. I was very careful with the choosing of my words. And it's funny that you had to misrepresent them and literally ignore what I actually said in order to try and get a dunk off. Because the thing is, no, I would never want North Korea to be the country that has nuclear hierarchy over the rest of the world. Are you are you are you kidding me? Where the hell did you get that? I understand that listening is really hard when you really want to get a lie in and try to get a dunk off on someone who uh wait wait, what was it that you did? Didn't you like change your profile into like Demon Mama is a pirate and put your my picture as your profile and call yeah, a bunch of my followers ugly and all that stuff? It's weird. It's almost like you have this weird little hate boner for me and my community and you're always trying to find a way to offer lies and slander on my community. I don't know what it is. It seems really immature to me because see I I did I did, and, you know, to a certain degree, do consider you a colleague. But what you've done here is you've lied, and now you've lied three times in a row, and everybody can see it. Literally, you just read a quote back to me that says the opposite of what you said I said. I'm sorry, what about this quote? I'm sorry. So Go ahead, read it again, quote, please, please. Quote, sure, if all humans on the planet, in a conversation about state nuclear proliferation, what you're saying mm -hmm. is that you weren't talking about states being equally powerful. When you were talking about because you don't want nuclear powers, the first to get nuclear power to have the right to dominate the world, what you really meant was Correct. you don't want individuals. No. Are you are you are you what, struggling to understand a basic like, sentence? Wait, wait, just take a second because you're gonna you're, guess, you just read it back. I want wait, wait, wait. States. LSP, I know this is fucking hard. I know you're really struggling with even grasping basic word meanings here. Listen. Okay, I want wrong. all people on the planet to be equal. We were not talking about states in that particular thing. I made that distinction specifically. And then I said, and I don't want a state to be able to dominate the world because they happen to be the first to get nuclear power, regardless of which state it is. There is literally no inconsistency in that statement. And okay, you're trying really hard to make one, different. but there isn't. No, no, you're just backpedaling. No, I'm not backpedaling. I'm not backpedaling at all. I've literally I mean, not said it. I'll say it again right now. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Here's why that's stupid. Pisco's remark before that was that uh, that not, uh, a prevention of nuclear proliferation was a worthy price to pay for American imperialism, right? It was a conversation explicitly about states. No, it wasn't. This is, I literally made the distinction between wanting people to be equal and states very clear in that statement. No one else had this issue, mind you, until you lied about me. Several people. No, they didn't. Issue. Maybe people who, maybe about. people with yeah, equal, wait, maybe people with okay. equal level of like idea comprehension as you, um, that might be the case. But none of those people talked to me. Other people who saw your thread and your deliberate, which we just watched, Dylan's chat, your chat, I assume, my chat, all just saw the vid that you cut off in the middle of my sentence in order to make your point look good. No. That's what you had to go to to even make a case. Okay, so and I, mean, I will repeat thinking, anything that I said because I stand by everything I did, and I did so yesterday in a separate conversation that tons of people saw. Okay, so I want to I want to let LSP yeah. talk for a little bit. Please, yes. So once again, you're doing precisely what I said you'd do. You speak out of both sides of your mouth, where you say nukes do this and that, and here's all the positive values they offer. But it's not your personal opinion; it's just an observation. Actually, I was talking about individuals. No, the thing is, I'm not doing that. Thing, demon, mama. 
The thing is, it starts becoming your position when you say, well, you are, when you say stuff like you believe or you would, or even we should, like you, you change these operative pronouns to make it very personal. And it is your position that this is a threat. This is a, a conversation about nuclear proliferation. And mm -hmm. in your case, what you said is you want countries to be equal. You can backpedal from that. All no, you want. I did not say that. Right? I did not you say believe, that at all. You believe, you believe. You're lying about me right you now. Believe, you believe, well, shut up. You believe nuclear weapons are nice. a deterrence to imperialism. You believe the alternative is these countries getting rolled over by a stronger power. This is the things you said. And I think I took a pretty logical conclusion from wait, what you said. Wait, you just pivoted a to a different point. You just pivoted to a completely <sighs> different point. So you lied about me, and then you pivoted to another point. You fucking weasel. You're doing it again, live, before an audience. Why do you do this? Just admit that you, that you didn't listen to what I was saying, and you have a grudge. Just fucking own up to it. Take an L, my dude. Holy shit. Okay, I mean, I can explain it again if you're- No, 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 it has nothing to do with the explanation. You're literally lying. You're saying my statement, uh, and then you're changing what I said in order to fit your point. This whole performative thing. Wait, this isn't performative. This is me calling you out on being give a measly liar. Give me a liar. second, me a second. my chat, something? my chat. Give me, give me one moment. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, this is you being a weasley liar. So yeah, absolutely. But I guess they can't. I guess the stream can't hear us. So maybe I'll save this. But I'll, I'll say it again once we, once we start back up for sure. Yeah, weasley fucking liar, one hundred percent. And I'll stand by this. I'll repeat all my positions. I'll make the same argument again today. I don't. I didn't need to make a single change to it because it turns out the changes that were made to it were lies. Weasley little liar, dude. Still lying. It's all right. We're waiting for Dylan to come back. I don't know what's going on with his chat, but we'll see. I'm back. Sorry. All right. Yeah. So what was I saying? Oh yeah. Uh, LSP is Weasley little liar who has to lie in order to make his point make sense. Um, Dude, like, yeah. If I'm just going to sit here for like two hours while she cries. Like we, I got do you think this is crying? Too. I have yeah, proof I that you lied and everybody's seen it. You're Are literally, you look so not? stupid right now. You lied about me in order to try and get a Twitter dunk oh for like God. six likes. And that's all that you did here. And it's fucking annoying because okay. you couldn't have misrepresented my positions further. Something okay, can we get back to nukes? Wait. Yeah. Wait. Very much like what do you want to know about my position on nukes? Do you want to just have your your time to like pick here and save face? Well, no. I, I, your position. Dang. Okay. Well, your position I, okay. was that if the U.S. isn't going to disarm, that it's in other country's best interest to pursue nuclear weapons. It is. Right? Oh. It is absolutely okay. in their best interest. So Any country think, that does not want to become. I already said this. You just asked me a question. I'm going to answer it. That you, wasn't a question was he, it was a statement okay all right fine okay here's the question do you think nuclear weapons deter imperialist aggression i think they can for sure there's other ways that you can do it too but that is one way that you can absolutely do you can absolutely deter imperialist aggression with with a nuke absolutely okay so they they do you're looking for i'm looking for like a concrete position yes wait they do wait wait there are multiple ways that you can deter Yes. imperialistic but one of them I is nukes that there are multiple ways. yes but you but it's important weapons. to ha actually talk about that because if you if you want it to be a, a black and white position that's literally not what we've been talking about and i never talked about that in the original what i'm saying is is that for any nation that does not want to become a vassal state and some nations do become vassal states and there have been a few outliers of people who've chosen not to pursue nuclear power but for many nations by the fact that large often imperial nations have nuclear power they have such a power advantage over other nations that nations have no choice but to rationally conclude whether their government is good or bad or not they can come to the conclusion that oh if we don't want to be the vassal of one of these big nuclear powers we have to get nukes of our own otherwise we can't self-determine okay, that's just so a simple fact th this is, no it's not and you're really? again this is just yes really so for, firstly I don't even accept this, this framework that these imperialist nations often like impose themselves on these minor nations um, because it, it's generally not in like any of their, their interests to do so. War is okay. actually like a little bit difficult to do. That's and incredibly the best example silly. I can get for how I, I know. Why don't you shut up? The best example I can give for like how these weapons of mass destruction don't actually stave off U.S. military action. I, I, Paul Wolfowitz is, a, is an example of this, right, um, who vocally and repeatedly said uh, a number of times that one justification for invading Iraq was that the Bush administration truly believed that he had continued his nuclear weapons program. Now, we already knew Saddam Hussein had Scud missiles. Uh, he'd use them on us. He'd use them on Israel. 
And what does we that all, have to do with despite anything? us both being nuclear powers, he used them on us. And we knew he had these weapons with uh, chemical warheads, and we still invaded anyway. Like the deterrence factor failed there. And if anything, these weapons were an inciting factor to our action. So I just flat disagree. I'm sorry. So so what you're saying is is that um, we're not that imperial nations don't encroach on other countries except for the thousands of examples that we can see with uh, China putting pressure on Taiwan, even on North Korea, with Russia invading Ukraine and taking over Crimea, with the United States going in and Iraq. You're telling me that you, the, the linchpin of your argument is that you believe that Bush actually believed there were weapons of mass destruction? That's what yeah. you've got? That's what you came to this conversation with? Amongst others, you want you want more examples? Like, I, I can run down, like, a fucking list for you. I'm giving yeah, you it's, one It's example. really funny. It's Definitely almost like exactly now. what I said Stop is true. Fuck, Shut up. Um, hey, you interrupted me, my dude. Oh, my God. I'm never going to finish. Who's um, whining no, now? Imperial, who's whining? Im, 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 okay. Well, I don't care who's I, whining. Okay. Up. Okay. Imper so, just the empirical examples don't support this. There are several instances of nuclear powers facing off against each other for why this, this, uh, this idea of nuclear peace just doesn't work. Um, one such example is the Cargill conflict between uh, India and Pakistan, which were both nuclear powers at the time. And we know um, that that in the, India's case, they came very close to using and arming their nuclear warheads, uh, but for the United States intervening diplomatically to get Pakistan to, to retreat from the Kashmir, or not Kashmir, but the Cargill district of Kashmir, right? So again, okay. this wasn't, the nuclear weapons weren't a deterrence factor here. They were an inciting factor. They were an escalation factor that made like conflicts infinitely more dangerous. So when it comes to nuclear weapons, proliferation breeds proliferation. Pakistan's nukes were a response to India's. And you could say Iran's nukes were a oh response to Pakistan's. He's doing it. He's making my argument. Response to Israel's. Um, but the point is, with nuclear weapons, it's not a question of if, but when. You're not going to get every power in the world, or, or I would argue any power in the world, to back off just because you have nuclear weapons. You're making my argument for me now. It's really funny. This has happened a couple times since people who have mis misinterpreted based on your thing, which is the idea that, yes, inevitably, when we live in a world where nuclear, po where nuclear power is an absolute advantage over anything else, it means you can you engage without ever putting— What's that? Hey, do, you ever, do you ever think we're actually going to be in a world devoid of nuclear powers? I would hope so. If not— That's what I asked you. Do you think we're going to? Use your brain. Yeah, yeah, I would hope. Well, I mean, I don't know. There's a well, good chance. Naive. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait, you asked me a fucking question. This is so pathetic, LSP. Um, your face is pathetic. What, I'm, what was that? Sorry? You want to repeat that? Yeah, your face is pathetic. Nice. nice. Hey, Dylan. Oh, I just, I just want to bring up that this is truly the best conversation I've hosted. And you two are intellectual heavyweights going, going to spars to change the world. And I really want to say that this is exactly the type of content Twitch needs to bring itself to an intellectual ethos where one day we will have the philosopher king ruling over us all and protecting us hell yeah that sounds uh, uh sounds base as fuck i'll tell you what I'll, I'll make an attempt to disarm this let you want to cool down we'll both cool down we'll wait no i don't want to cool down i have no interest in uh, cooling down the reason why i have no interest in cooling down is because you lied about me and you're right, and you've tried, tried to, to pivot productive. off of that so yeah no i'm not cooling down at all yeah, no, no, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to be cooling down at all until, okay. unless you're willing to take okay. back, question. unless you're willing to take back those lies and say, yeah, I'm a liar. And I, I also clipped Jim Chu. You. you did lie. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, 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 We are going back because we watched that clip. We, we saw the tweet on stream. Everyone in this entire conversation saw the tweet that you put out. Welp, demon mama wants a strong North Korea leftists. You don't think that was a lie? No, I don't. Well, then you're I, an idiot, and you're still lying now. So there you go. Me? There's two. Wait, 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 two for Demon two. Mama, Demon Mama, you asked him a question. <laughs> Let him answer. But he answered, and then I said he was an idiot. But the, you, okay, okay, okay. Demon, Demon, Demon Mama, Demon Mama, Demon Mama. Let me ask you, Demon Mama. Sure, sure. Uh, okay, let me ask you a question. Um, do you believe we should have? Uh, what type of? Do you? Do you? Are you? When you when when you beat your kids, what type of belt did you use? What? Is this See, like, is, she won't even she won't even admit to it. She won't even wait, wait, wait a second. That's literally not the same. No, 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 no. Dylan, that's literally not the same. I'm not going to come on here and be double teamed by the. She won't even admit to it. She won't even admit to it. Chat. Okay. All I'm saying is that the questions can be a little longer. Chat. If you think that was a fair example, it's not. No, it didn't make it to be comparable. I'm just saying that. Why'd you make it? Dear mama, we're not gonna. You're not gonna. You're gonna. You're turning this into a two-on-one. Yeah, so, I will. If you're yeah, gonna be well, like that, give, yeah, me, sure. give me a second. Give me a second. Come on, Gladly. Dear mama. Come on, dear mama. This, fuck. This is why I don't want to host debates anymore. Okay. So I'm this. Sorry, 
this right here me. look this this right here okay so if you ask somebody a a question and they say yes and then they try to keep talking they're usually trying to explain their answer right it's not something you just jump on like that gotcha right you got to let them explain their answer right for example let's say you asked me demon mama was the iraq war justifiable and i said an answer like yes but and then you were like i got a bush stand then it's like, wait, you got to let him explain what he's about to say, because maybe I would say it was justifiable, but not the smart thing to do, considering the da 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 right? So I think it made sense to let LSP continue after saying the positive on that. Uh, Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's funny. He did that to me in the clip that started this whole thing. So, But, but yeah, okay. sure. If he wants well, to go I on more, sure. If he wants I'm to lie more, that's fine. I'm, I'm not endorsing that action, but if you think that's wrong, isn't okay. it bad for you to just do it then, too, as well? Yeah. It I mean, I don't think like it was him? quite comparable, but sure. If he wants to talk okay. about it more, go ahead. LSP, please continue. Okay, so, I mean, again, um, so the reason I like tweet lat, well, since we're going back, let me explain it, right? This seems like a logical conclusion based on what you say, because you know full well, we're, and at least I would hope you know this full well, we're never going to be totally disarmed of nuclear weapons. Genie's out of the bottle, you can't put it back. And this entire time, you keep talking That's about true. how good nuclear weapons are for self-determination. You keep no. talking about extort. No, you no, know, I sorry. didn't. I didn't say that. I literally have not said that. I said that it is that for sure a nation that is not nuclear powered would desire, would rationally desire to be on an equal level of power footing, so that it would not have, so it has significantly less risks. Because any nation that doesn't have nukes has to rely either, again, on another, on being a vassal to another state and hope that that state can protect them, which sometimes can work, but no state is going to willingly, and this is what I talked about in the panel, you can go back and watch the panel again, maybe you'll get it this time, I talked about this, no nation is going to willingly just say, yeah, we're fine with the, the, the fact that some nation could potentially um, bomb us into glass um, when they're, if they hope to do the best for their citizens. That doesn't make any sense. There's okay, no so, reason why a nation would choose, and we have, and in fact, this is historical precedent as well. Then let which, me ask. Oh, you're gonna interrupt me now? Yeah, for the filibuster, can I ask a question? <laughs> what well, do you I'd mean like, a filibuster? Like, oh, okay, come on. Okay, okay, give me a second. Uh, please, please finish. I'm gonna give this 19 minutes at max more because I don't think there's gonna be much achieved here today. Oh, okay. I mean, if you think so, I'm having a great time. Hey, man, can we please talk about but, nukes? Like, well, I, wait I, a minute. But we're like, talking just, about nukes. I've made my takes clear on ego. nukes. You're just yeah, a liar, and you won't, and you refuse to acknowledge that because we can't move okay, forward. I'm a liar. Can we talk about nukes? Oh, you admit it? So you admit yeah, you're a liar. Can we talk about nukes? Yeah. Sure. Let's talk about nukes. Now that we know that you're a liar, that you lied in order to get clout on Twitter. Okay. Please just shut up. I mean, if you why you why do you agree to have a conversation if you're just gonna lie and then also just be like just shut up, just shut up? That's been your only argument here. You've had nothing. Well, I no, no that my very first argument was how nuclear proliferation hurts peace negotiations. Yeah, so it isn't a deterrent. Well, I agree. I never argued in favor of nuclear prol proliferation. I never even not even okay. once on the panel did I argue in defense of nuclear prol proliferation. Never once. Okay. So when you say that it's in a country's best interest to pursue nuclear weapons. You're thinking that it's in their it's bad for them to pursue their what's in their best interest. When it's in it's in a country's best interest. It's bad for the world. It's bad for everyone. Okay. That's okay. literally what I said on the panel. This has been my position I mean, the entire what, time. Wait, listen, come you on. You add, you did the same thing. You're just, this is so ridiculous. Okay, go, just go whine. Go oh, on. wait, you think that's going to be Oh, this is so silly. This is so pathetic. Um LSP I, from the very beginning, and I, you can go watch every panel, like literally, I was on Dylan's show talking about this yesterday, the exact same fucking take. No, I have never once advocated for nuclear pro proliferation. I don't want anyone to have nukes. And unlike you, I'm not as black-pilled um, as you are. I do believe that provided we can survive um, climate change, that we can get to a point where humans no longer maintain individual nation state stocks of nukes that can be used to leverage power over other nations. I hope that we can get to that point. If not, we might never make it off of this. We might never make it beyond earth. We might never make it as a, as a species. Now, if you're as black pilled and you just say whatever, that's fine. Um, go for it. But, um, but that's not the position that I hold. I am okay. strictly against uh, nuclear proliferation and I argue that not only should we should we advocate n people not seeking nukes anymore but that we should recognize that the nations that currently hold nukes are functionally holding the, the planet earth in a forever standoff a forever nuclear standoff that can only be ended when 
uh, when all nations agree to disarm or there's others there's some other solutions that have pro been proposed like for example a nuclear vault um, in the case of like an alien invasion where if all you know all the nations come together all of the leaders put their thumbprints on a little thing and you can get the nukes out in order to fight the aliens but that's like again that's one possible solution of many the goal is to get no nation to have nukes when no other when any other nation has them right. that's terrible. So so I, I don't know how to like answer with this extreme hypothetical that the situation that it's best resolvable is we all stash them until the aliens invade. I think when you qualify your beliefs based on an if but for condition. No, no, I said know, that was a possibility. Did you listen? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I let you finish. Shut the fuck up. I think qualifying your beliefs based on an if but for condition that you know will never be fulfilled is pretty What? Dishonest. It's like asking me if I support fully automated luxury gay space communism. Right. The answer is obviously no. It's unrealistic right but if it's realistic then great but but it's not so no and in this instance you know full well we will never reach a period of total nuclear disarmament so adding this qualifier to what you believe is pretty worthless you might as well say i like good things and i dislike bad things no right no I true disagree. josh collins i love josh collins. no i i strongly disagree with that because first of all i don't believe that and i appreciate you not telling me what i believe i do believe that humans wait, can reach wait wait demon mama wait did what? you vote for josh or not no, I didn't. Are you fucking kidding me? No way. Damn. <laughs> what? Unbased. He's not even in my district. Unbased. Yeah, damn. Um, it's funny because you didn't listen to a single thing that I said, which has been, you know, basically the story of this entire engagement with you, LSP, and actually most engagements I've had with you. Um, like, what? Like, first of all, I, I literally said that the alien scenario is one possible solution where we wouldn't be getting rid of all nukes, but we would put them all in a vault. I would otherwise argue, you know, barring that like an alien invasion, I think it would be better for humans to just get rid of nukes as a weapon type. We shouldn't be able to, no country, no country on earth should be able to destroy the entire planet. That's ridiculous. And it creates an inherent power imbalance that again, locks the world in a forever standoff. And it's funny because again, history has played out like this. History vilifies or verifies my position. I can't remember which the correct word is there. Okay, so which, can I ask which it is then? Like, is it that it, 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 it yeah, what I want to know is, is the United, is the world engaged in a forever standoff because of nuclear weapons or are nuclear weapons a deterrence that keeps us safe? It can't be wait, both at the same time. Wait, it literally, it literally can be both at the same time. It literally can be. The reason okay, why is that Pat, we're in a, wait, wait, hold on a second. We're in a standoff because there are nations that have nukes that have the potential to erase the planet. And if you, and, and here's the thing, realistically, I don't know if anybody will ever really take that step, but as we, you know, as I have discussed with Dylan, and I agree with Dylan on this particular point, the chance of something going wrong or an accident happening threatens the entire planet. And that's, that, that situation will exist as long as any nation has a significant stockpile of nukes. Maybe not if they have one nuke or two nukes, but if they have a significant stockpile of nukes, that nation is, in, is endangering the entire planet. And there is a sense of deterrence, which is this is it, it would be ridiculous to not say there is no no deterrent effect from nukes. Absolutely. Do you think that like do you think that uh, that China would be as careful engaging um, with North Korea as they are currently if North Korea didn't have the threat of nukes? Let's let's be real. They've been at conflict and China has exerted North a lot Korea of power and China. You mean South Korea? No, North Korea, North Korea and China have internal tensions and they have. For a long time, there have been tensions okay. between North Korea and, and China and back and forth so and, and, and here's whatever. Why, here's why this argument's not good. Um, because it assumes this it, optimal rationality on the parts of its actors and not all are self-interested, right? Nuclear weapons are not a deterrence to terrorist acts, for example. And they're more likely to be Who used cares? against us Who cares? to keep us safe. Pakistan is one bad clerical revolution away from putting control of nuclear weapons in the hands of like Islamic fundamentalists who truly believe in and welcome like the apocalypse. So and, the they worship death, yeah. and they worship death by jihad as like a noble guarantee of heaven. And in the Kashmir conflict, in order to hide and protect their nuclear stockpile from India, which was the fear, they put their nukes on the border of Afghanistan, closer to the Taliban, closer to Al Qaeda, okay. right? In general fear of India managed to, managing a, a targeted strike that takes out their nukes. Nuclear weapons escalated the danger of, of, of like everything. It didn't, again, it wasn't a deterrence. It didn't keep anyone safe. It just made everything infinitely more dangerous. Th this argument is essentially Wait. that an armed po a society is a polite society. No, it isn't. 
because I'm not because I'm not advocate. You're 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 literally incapable of understanding my argument. I'm not arguing in favor of deterrence. I'm saying individual nations have power, whether they're good actors or bad actors. They recognize that nuclear power is more or less the ultimate power that you can have with weaponry. Now, while Pakistan and India may have like foolishly flexed that power, it doesn't change the fact that them having nukes means. Interestingly, and this goes in favor, again, the point that you're bringing up goes in favor of my point, which is that the United States had to go in and diplomatically go, please, 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 please. That gives them power. That gives them negotiating power with the United States. The United States had to approach them to go, please don't blow up the planet. Now, that's not a good thing, but from their perspective, from getting in, stepping out of the America colored shoes and being able to look through the eyes of another nation, which may not have necessarily the same values. They may be a worse nation or a better nation. Who knows? But the fact that they were able to get the United States to come to them gives them power. And power is important, as it turns out, if you don't want to be the vassal of another country. This is a simple fact. And we've seen this happen. Again, history verifies my position. At one point, only the United States had nukes. Then it created an arms race where every other nation in the world was pursuing nukes. Some got stopped, some were unable to, and others developed nukes. We had an okay, entire so then, period of history. Then you have to explain, okay, then you have to explain right why nuclear powers of the former soviet states returned their nuclear stockpile to russia despite distancing some distancing themselves politically if this power is so my it is so concrete right why are nations surrendering why is south, um, south africa dismantling its nuclear stockpile when it's seeing a change of government like this uh, well, hold on a second we already talked no, about no, south korea i'll let you I mean, finish south africa well i know because they changed government Right. And they didn't have an interest in the previous government, like the news falling into the, the hands of the previous government. Right. It, I'm, I'm sorry, it was racism. It was racism. Yeah. Among things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is this power dynamic didn't work in their interest. What they wound up doing was what the nukes wound up doing was escalating the conflict. OK, that's all I'm saying. Doesn't give anybody negotiating power. South Africa's worse off. Right. Um, well, I don't know. They're they're, I mean, they're better off without. The I'm news. sorry. What? <laughs> I meant Ukraine. <laughs> Ukraine is worse off. Right. The power was returned to Russia and they're still in, in large part like the, Russia still totally annexing Crimea. This doesn't this doesn't end in like the, the, the results you want. It just greatly escalates conflict. Wait Imagine if Ukraine had nukes. Do you, do you think do you, like, wait, wait, Ukraine be did have nukes? They got rid of nukes and then they got yes, annexed. They returned them to. to yeah, well, okay, it's kind of weird. I mean, just because, wait, just because a country made the wrong decision at one point or, or decided to trust the rest, to tr decided to trust a power and then was betrayed by it, that actually, again, verifies my position that nuclear power, and again, it's it's really difficult, I, I, like, I'm getting really frustrated because we've been talking for like an hour and you keep arguing with someone who's not here because I've never argued in favor of the armament of countries. All I have said is that I've been, countries- I've been arguing against nuclear peace theory. What? I'm arguing against nuclear. Peace I don't know here. what the. F I don't. I don't. I don't know what you're. I don't know what you mean when you're saying that. Like, what do you mean? You don't know what nuclear peace theory. Is? I mean, I don't know what you mean when you're referring to that specifically. Like, if you're okay. talking about some specific theory, just tell me. You've it. made it. You've made it abundantly clear that this isn't actually your position. This is just the position of the nuclear peace theorists who up whose position you keep marking. No, I never said that. I never once okay, said do that. Do you believe that nuclear? Do you believe in nuclear peace theory or not? I mean, I don't know. What do you mean by nuclear peace theory? That nuclear weapons promote peace. No, I don't believe that. How many fucking times do I have to say that? Why this are is you like arguing this point. Because I'm not arguing that point. You are incapable of thinking, and you are incapable of listening. You're literally. It's like your 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 brain turns off the second my mouth opens up. It's ridiculous. It's actually outrageous. Like I've literally argued that nukes guarantee war they guarantee okay, a per wait no no lsp it's my turn position this is fucking stupid it's my it's my turn it's not the same position there are it's, there's a huge distinction my point is that i am advocating very strongly that every single politician and advocate in the world should recognize that nuclear power anywhere a bomb anywhere is a threat to the entire fucking planet and therefore we should not support the building of new weapons we should push unilaterally we should recognize that oh my god we need okay, to take this no 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 i'm not done 
I, I know you're rushing. I know you're this. rushing because you, you're 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 not actually listening because to the words I don't I'm saying. Be here for this filibuster. Can I? It's not it a filibuster. Point? Holy motherfucking god! You never listen to a single word I say. You haven't listened this entire time. You're having a conversation with yourself and just jerking yourself off about some argument you're having with someone who's not here. The same way, and it's funny because this is all a result of you having to really, really mischaracterize my position originally. Okay, you've, you've mischaracterized my position this entire time. Really? What is it? What have I done? I never made any accusations against you besides that you're a liar and a weasel, which you are. No, no, then you're mischaracterizing me because I'm not a liar and I'm not- You're a liar and a weasel. We have proof of it, video proof. Okay, when all else fails... You have video like, proof? Okay, do, okay, Demon Mama. Do. Demon Mama, if that's true, what, what, what piece... Okay, what... I have no actual evidence of him being a weasel. I've never seen him on camera to be a weasel. Uh, okay. I have seen weasels before, and they are not at all as nearly as fuzzy as LSP actually is. That's fair. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe if we're going with the um, literalist, uh, or the, what's the term, the originalist okay. interpretation yeah. of weasel? Yeah. Um, yeah. What I mean when I say weasel is um, somebody who's really dishonest, hey, um, sir, who slithers around. Me. I appreciate yeah. it. Welcome to this conversation. That's ending in five minutes, oh, yeah. I swear. I'm sorry, who's here? Please. The yeah. serfs. Oh, so, welcome. So can we talk about the issues? Okay, I mean, we, than, we've tried, but you're okay. incapable of acknowledge, of engaging in good faith. Time. You've whined this entire time. No, this isn't Shut whining. Up. This is it me works. calling you out on a lie. You just interpret Can whining because you are you don't like being told that you're a liar by a woman, I guess. That's my guess. That's my guess. Okay, yeah. well, you're racist because I'm Hispanic. Sure, what okay. That yeah, if you, if you think you can back that up, if you think your case makes that, then sure, huck that against me. We can talk about it after stream. No, I don't want to talk to you after you. I don't like you. That's yeah. clear. I mean, that is very clear. It's true. You, you also I don't lie. Like you. I'm sorry. Jesus what did you say fuck. there? I said I'm not going to fuck you. you my dude, that? that's like, really I fucking don't weird. Like I don't want to talk to that's you. That's really fucking weird, my dude. Like, that's really weird. I'm saying get off my dick. Can I talk about the- You lied about me. Shit? You posted about me originally. I never mentioned you once. You weren't on the panel. I never talked about you. You went and you- yeah, Not I only- Wait a second. Hold on. No. Hold on a second. You lied about me by name on Twitter, and then you also told other people directly that okay, I was a I crazy I Wait a second, yeah, LSP. You don't like when the facts are turned around on you. You lied about me, and then you lied directly to other people, which we looked about on my stream. We've looked at it on Dylan's stream now. Everyone has seen that you lied about me, and now you're accusing me of being on your dick? Fuck off with that. Are you kidding me? Are you for real? Are you that weak that you're unable to take a single L and just admit that you were doing, that you were fucking pinging at me for bullshit and you wanted to lie in order to get some fucking Twitter clout or some shit? I don't even know what it was. Maybe you just, maybe you just thought you were being really smart. Oh, so you lied about me? You think I was chasing cl Twitter clout? Do you have any proof of that? I don't know. It you sure looks like shit. it. I'm, I'm, I'm inferring. Like I'm inferring for using motivations sure for sure. like you're advocating for nuclear peace theory. I, what, what are you talking about? I, okay. Can we, again... Can we please go at this shit like adults? I mean, I am. You are the I'm one who. You, wait, you're the one who's lying. literally in the face of proof. Literally lying. I got it. I'm a Weasley little liar. You are a Weasley little liar. You That's made correct. That clear. You spent like half an hour saying that. Yeah, I, I know, it. but you wouldn't admit it. And now you're kind of admitting it, but you're kind of doing it in like a sarcastic way, which, you. you know, that falls into the Weasley category. I don't, I don't understand why, if you are, if you believe that nuclear weapons are a deterrence and they issue all these positive benefits, why, and your position is the same as my position, why do you keep arguing this position? Wait, what do you, what do you, oh my God, you literally, you you literally can't listen. Weapons? You literally oh can't listen. God. Let me explain. You just asked me a question. Now I'm going to tell you. I don't advocate. Advocate for nuclear armament. I acknowledge. Ah, yeah, yeah. Listen, you're struggling. You're struggling to let me have my say. You're struggling. You're struggling. How about my position? Wait, wait. You asked me a question, Dylan. He asked me a question. Come on, this is ridiculous. And you're answering an entirely different question. No, I'm not. No, I'm literally not. I'm not accusing you of advocating for nuclear. This is so stupid. I'm asking you why you keep you keep defending these points if this isn't your position. What point did I defend that isn't that my nuclear position? Nuclear weapons are returns to imperialism. That they that they, nuclear they weapons can are be. Themselves. They absolutely okay, can be. We've talked about this in okay. multiple occasions, and you even acknowledge it in this conversation. We can okay, watch so the VOD over again if you don't agree. So good. It's not that they're good. They are horrible. The negative. Listen. Oh my God. Let me explain this. Can I explain myself, or are you just gonna keep like bloviating to run down the clock? Yeah. Yeah. But you're the one who's been. You're. You. You've accused me of like filibustering. But what you've done is kept repeating the same point that I've answered like ten times, and you literally can't listen. 
Sure. See ya. Go ahead. Ditch out. That'd be great. Rage quitting out is the best look. Uh, for you right now, absolutely. I'm still here, I'm just gonna get a cardboard cutout for you to talk to. Go I ahead mean, if your if your positions are so weak that you would be equally represented by a cardboard cutout, then uh, I mean, maybe that would be a good move for you. Maybe you'd save yourself the embarrassment. Dylan, can we please talk about the? I, I actually wait. I've we literally stated my position on this. Right. Wait, wait. Let me just do it again for you. I'll explain it really easily. Okay. For an individual yeah, nation, different. for an individual nation, a nation, an individual nation will desire nuclear power if they don't want to be a vassal state, which that's the big thing. If they're okay with being a vassal state, they're okay with teaming up with Russia or they trust Russia or they trust the United okay. States. I'm well, you. I'm not done. My God, you're so embarrassing. You you can't even. Oh, okay. I'm asking for your so, position. Can you please? You just me okay. asked me my position. Oh, I'm oh, literally okay, explaining okay, okay. it. This is stupid. Okay. Okay. Do you know the difference? I, okay. 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 I am. I am here. I've been listening very tentatively to this conversation. I've been paying very close. You were close... dancing in chat, villain. That's that is an inaccurate assessment of what was happening. Okay. There was no village people music being played on my stream. That that is a lie. Okay. Look. Um. I I honestly don't think there's gonna be much progress made here tonight. I've seen I've seen a lot. Number one. LSP, you don't like my demon mama. That's very evident. You don't like her. Yeah, uh, I, don't like me. I don't like her. And I'm perfectly fine with that relationship. And I and I called out earlier and say let's talk like adults for the sake of the stream, Dylan. She outright rejected it. Well, I mean, we're streamers, so that's impossible. Number one, to be completely fair to demon mama, uh, but number two, I, I just I, I think that for you have gotten to the there is an actual disagreement here to be had it isn't just twitter beef and that is when it comes to the issue of nuclear um disarmament and the idea that lsp um do, uh, let me let me just make be clear here so i'm not mischaracterizing you you believe it's a pipe dream yeah i don't think you're ever going to get nuclear disarmament that okay. doesn't mean i don't favor it okay like i uh, support hmm. the proliferation treaty okay so he believes that it's a pipe dream he, be he believes that we should have treaties for it uh, but he doesn't believe it's going to happen. Whereas in Demon Mama, while also wants to happen, Demon Mama, would I say that you do believe it could happen and we should fight as activists to make it happen? Absolutely. From, our, from yesterday's conversation. I mean, okay. Yeah. So and that's the disagreement. Well, because yeah. And, and I would also say, dream, then why fight for it? Yeah. I mean, and here's the thing. I why? mean, I, I, I do why. believe that it will happen. And I, I mean, I like, listen, Exxon Mobil um, doesn't think that we're going to be able to beat climate change and they don't give a shit. They know it's happening. They're just making money off of it. They're hoping on some magical technology being being uh, developed that will get us out of there. I believe that we need to, that the only way we change the world is by actually putting forward good ideas. And the way that we do that is by pointing out that there is an inherent contradiction in the fact that if any nation has nuclear bombs, other nations are now, not every single nation, but most other nations are going to conclude, or many at least, we can, we can say many if we want to be safe. Many other nations are going to conclude we need nukes if we ever want to be able to negotiate on an equal playing field because they can glass us from orbit and we can't do shit about that. If they, I mean, at least if they have to invade us, we have a chance at fighting that. Great example is Iran. Okay. Fortress nation can't be invaded on ground. Uh, but but could be glass from orbit. So getting nukes for them is a huge is a huge potential dis deterrent. Now nothing is guaranteed in the world, but it is true that is a major interest that Iran has, and we've seen this play out through history. So yeah, and um, and yeah, I don't know if we're gonna do like like uh, I don't know if we're doing like closing statements or anything. Well, but no, it's we talk just one well, at I, a time. Okay. Wait. I, I use Okay. Because I can, I can answer this. I can make. Okay. I can actually retort to this you point. You respond, and then I want to, I want to cut this off because we're going. We've been, been going for over an hour. And we need. Yeah. Okay. So the response is that you make proliferation against another nation's self-interest, right? Yeah. You should be, you should be pursuing uh, uh, non-proliferation as much as possible, which is why we have a non-proliferation treaty. It's why Ronald Reagan signed the START treaty, right? And. You know, uh, one reason, and I know you you dis you disagree with this new nuclear hierarchy, but one reason, and I'm this that you can argue that the U.S. gets nukes and other countries do not, is because you the United States is one of the few countries recognized by international law. Um, so at the minimum, it at least has a democratic mandate, even if implicitly. And North Korea, for example, is not a state recognized by international law to have nuclear weapons, while the United States is. China is. The U.K. is. France is. Russia, right? Are all these similarly recognized states? And one more reason why the United, the United States is rather unique in this sense, right, uh, is that um, 
it is the only nuclear power in the in the of the nuclear states and sorry of the non-proliferation treaty to uh, actually publicly call for its total disarmament and to negotiate with other nuclear powers for that disarmament. It did that in the form of the START Treaty under Reagan, and it did that in the form of the START Treaty under uh, Obama, right? So the way you uh, pursue it for other actors in the world is you make proliferation against their self-interest. You, you aggressively sanction them, right? You aggressively withhold trade and aid. You make them so alienated from the world that they can't, that, that pursuing nuclear weapons is just way, worth way more harm than it is good. And that that's the real politic perspective there. I mean, there. this is just a might. This is just an American exceptionalist might versus right argument. This literally is. This is the one that I was arguing with Pisco with on the very panel because I don't think that you can. First of all, America is the only country that has ever used nukes. We killed a lot of people with nukes, and that should not be forgotten. Secondly, we have an incredible amount of undue influence on quote unquote in international law. So it's no surprise that. It's weird. The nuclear nations, the ones who got the nukes first, are the ones who are recognized as being the, the, the legal nuclear powers. If you write the laws, you can determine whoever the hell you want to be them. I don't think any of these nations deserve to have nuclear powers. Russia, China, the United States. And, and the idea that like America is somehow more stable or more safe to be having nuclear uh, weapons is, again, I mean— the argument I agree with Dylan on that we we talked about this extensively is that no nation has has been able to prove themselves as actually safe actors in old in holding nuclear weapons. We've lost nukes. Russia's lost nukes. China, as far as we, I mean, I don't know actually if China has, but they probably have. Let's be real. There's been a lot of accidents. So so the reality is that there is no nation that's safe to have nukes. There is okay. none. So your argument can I, can is is purely it? just on the idea that you live in America. America, you think is good. You're willing to you're willing to say, yeah, if America says another nation shouldn't have them, I guess I'm okay with going along with that. But that's just because America gets to make those rules. That's the only thing. Dylan, can I respond to this? If we just do this structured, I think it can work. Can I respond? Dylan, can you hear me? Hello. Hello? You cut out yeah. for a second. Can, can I respond okay. to this? Yeah, sure. You can respond, and then we're wrapping it up. I'm just, okay. I'm, Do you act, I'm getting okay, a migraine. So I've got one, too. You act like it's a meme, um, Demon Mama, but I think America is a force for good in the world. Now, that doesn't mean that we've always been well-behaved. I don't think we have. Nor does it mean we should have nukes and nobody else. I don't believe that. Believe it or not, I actually favor total disarmament of nukes from the United States because there is no way the U.S. can ever have and use nukes in an ethical way. It's, oh, there's no utilitarian purpose to nukes. There's no way nuclear so weapons he agrees can ever with me, be is what he's used saying. in an ethical way in warfare. And if we're the most advanced country in the world and we fuck up this bad with nukes this often, as other countries do, right? It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. That said, we are a force for good in the world. We do a lot to combat terrorism. We provide impoverished countries loans. We, we lead the nations and worlds and okay. coalitions against terrorism and dictatorships. And we sometimes intervene to stop genocides, like in the case of the Yazidi, then much, and when much of the world doesn't want to, right? Okay. Um, yeah, but is... when you say, when can I, let me respond please. When you say this is just an American exceptionalism might makes right, I don't agree. It is. I don't agree. I don't, I don't agree that America is exceptional, but the values that America is espousing and the way they aggressively pursue, like certainly I would understand that the, the issue, there's a real politic issue with the U S getting totally denuclearization while other countries still pursue their nukes. And there's no way to stop them from pursuing it other than using hard power, soft power, or both. I mean, there are other options, and we, in fact, again, this is another thing that we talked about. Um, this is the um, uh, this is something we talked about um, yesterday, uh, actually, as well, which is that um, sanctions. And it's funny, you go directly to sanctions. The first thing you say is, "Oh, we need to sanction these other nations." But as we discussed yesterday, in the case of Russia, that would actually go against your argument because right now, Dylan aptly pointed out that one of Russia's only remaining strengths is their nukes. That is the the thing that they're relying on to remain a world power that gets taken seriously because their economy has collapsed, their political situation has fallen apart, something that's happening here in the United States as well right now, um, which is interesting because um, it's almost like the, the nukes um, become something that people grasp onto when they have nothing else, when everything else has failed. And if that's the case, we should acknowledge that nations aren't necessarily like evil for pursuing nukes though some nations might be but most nations are not going to be evil for pursuing that um and we should be willing to engage in stimulus in incentives as opposed to disincentives because here's the thing you're not going to win any good faith over the people of a nation by bombing them um every time they try they, they attempt okay okay so i i i just okay 
I think I, I know how to end this conversation. I, I know how to end this conversation, though. Sure. I got an amazing, got a message from a crit, uh, from critically thinking veteran that I think will end this conversation quite well. Okay. <clears throat> Reality is, Nikes were around before Demon Mama, and they will be, and they were all inherited the way things turned out. That being said, we got them first, and being the only nation to have used Nikes, we don't and haven't used them, knowing the full power that they have. We are You're the global force nukes? for good. No, he's talking about Nike shoes. It's a good shoe. If any other nation has gotten them first and using them for the history before, they could, they use, and continue to pass their use for any tele technological advancement that was had. We are the only nation to use I, I got to say, when it comes to Nikes, I really like their slogan when it comes to foreign policy. Yeah. Just do it. It's like, just fuck you, it. Just do it. <laughs> just do it, man. Just fucking do it. Okay. So I know I ended it on a meme, but I have to cut this off. I am okay. getting a migraine. This sure. is not enjoyable. Uh, if you do, I, I, this is what I'll do. If do you remember, I know you're still streaming. I'll bring, I'll put you both in a different room, a private one, and you can hash it out there if you really want to continue. Yeah, that'd be fun. Okay. Demon cool. Mama, do you think Plop we can talk like this from now on, or do you? Probably gonna... not. Okay, okay, okay. We'll wait, see, wait, wait. Yeah, okay, okay. Let me let me do a thing. Let me do. Well, let me do this. Okay, LSB, you can jump immediately when that doesn't happen. Okay, Demon Mama. Sure. Yes. You're you're a great person. You uh -huh. have wonderful uh, uh, eye lobes. Thank you. And and I mean just spectacular eye lobes. And LSP, you have amazing earlobes, and you both are common in, in, in the persistence of good lobes. So I would like you to work together, knowing that fact going forward. Can you do that for me? And if it doesn't, just drop out, but try best to have a decent conversation. Yeah, sure. Wonderful. Okay. Lobes unite us all. I'll post you both in uh, in uh, Twitch sub room. Okay. Hello, and LSP. Oh, fuck me. Oh, okay. Can In, I indeed, indeed. Respond? No, please don't. Can I respond to your thing? I mean, that I don't know. What What did you want to respond to? I do, but can we like structure this for this for yeah, both of our sakes? So I, mean, I just have a question for stream. you. Like, I don't. Can I? I mean, like, here's the thing. Like, I've had this conversation with like ten other people who did a way better job presenting their case than you do. Um, but I just wonder what what was your intention for like lying and clip chimping me out like with that? Like, what was that? What was Again, the goal? What was the goal? I don't think I was lying. I mean, I think you were, and I think it's pretty obvious that you were. Okay, I don't think I was lying, and I don't think it's obvious you, do I you, was. Do you think that any position that I've said here um, supports uh, a, a quote-unquote yeah. strong North Korea? Yeah, I do. Really? Like, yes, which I one? Do. Can you point to the one that I've said that, that would advocate it for that? It being in their best self-interest to deter imperialism? It is in their best self-interest. It is in their best self-interest, yes. That, that doesn't mean I support a strong North Korea. Uh, that's the answer. Fuck you. Wait, wait. Literally. Did you did you quit rage quit? He rage quitted. Motherfucker rage quitted. Motherfucker rage quitted. M motherfucker rage quitted. Coward. What a motherfucking coward. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. What a fun what a fun time. Yeah, that was a fun time. Listen, LSP, he rage quitted out of the call. Yeah, self own. Ring ring. Looks like he caught himself in a in a little bit of a spot there. As it turns out, if you lie like a motherfucker, you're gonna get exposed. And he's gonna call me a whiner, despite the fact that he pinged me with this. He subtweeted me and lied to people. Cannot take the L. Unironically, no different than Fnatic. No different. A coward. A wuss. A weakling. Yeah, that was fun. That was really fun. It's a shame that he's such a coward that we don't actually get as much time as I'd hoped for. Yeah, yeah. Um, LSP is um, incredibly stupid. Oh, he is a streamer. He is. Um, he's a streamer. Yeah. Yeah, he was in way too deep to back down and he wouldn't admit it because he's a coward. Nah, I don't think I'll schedule another talk with Fnatic. I have no interest in talking with that guy again. We'll find plenty of other... There are plenty of other aggressive losers um, out there, like LSP, who will come along and we'll encounter them and we'll blow them the fuck out, just like we did with Fnatic and LSP. Easy, easy, peasy. Yeah, Fnatic's too risky. He's one slip away. Yep, aggressive losers! Oh, is, uh, is LSP a three-viewer streamer? Yeah, he probably is. Um, LSP is incredibly, incredibly cantankerous. Um, he makes a lot of enemies because he's really rude to people and also really weird and says weird things like, Oh, you, you don't want to fuck me.
Will thou run a fuck me? He does shit like that, and I'm just like, dude, you're the one who made a tweet about me. He wasn't on that panel. I didn't talk about LSP once. He tweeted about me. Yeah, don't worry. I'll destroy Ace Man. There will be many more people. My stream is on the up and up. We are growing. We are growing. Yeah. No, that's not the one. This is um this is totally unrelated. LSP is is unrelated um to Shadows. That's Shadows I think you're thinking of Daedal Dan. Oh, is he still is he still molding? Still molding. Yeah, still molding. Still molding. Coward! What a coward! L -l 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 Listen, that was a good time. That was a great time. He didn't even finish the bingo. He's too much of a loser. He gave himself a free one. He didn't finish it. Just abolished nukes, five head. Never said that. Never screamed like a banshee. I told him to shut the fuck up because he said that to me like eight times. Um, I did bring up the U.S. based nukes. I never said the word bully, which is really funny. Um, um, this one was a literal tweet of mine. Never said any of these. These were all so wrong. Invokes USSR as deter deterrent at least once. Never did that. Mo Western imperialism. Really? I never said Western imperialism. I literally used China and Russia as examples of... of he doesn't even know what I believe. This is the funny thing about LSP. He's so stupid, he doesn't. He can't even get his stereotypes correct. He thinks I'm a tanky. And I'm not even close. Not even close. He also forgot that I accused him of chasing clout. This is what, what we call cope right here. Cope. Cope, 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 cope. Cope, 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 cope. Yeah, thank God. Uh, I don't, well, listen. Listen. He might struggle with that, even if he wanted to. He's fucking coping. Cope. Yeah, he absolutely doesn't want me to text him. Not even a sexy photo. Nah, he wouldn't get that shit. That shit, that shit is special. Only special people get that. Yeah, LSP is really weird. And um, honestly... I am uh, very happy. I will I will look. I'm sure he'll be on a panel again in the future. I don't know. Maybe he'll quit streaming after this or something. Um, yeah, it is. It is what they have to resort to when they don't have a good argument. It's funny because we could have had a good argument. I know where he disagrees with me. I know his arguments better than he knows mine. I know what, he's, what his argument is. His argument is that, you know, he thinks the U.S. is a more responsible place to hold nukes, which I think is American exceptionalism. I don't agree with that. Um, he thinks that nuclear proliferation is bad. He hates North Korea. He thinks, um, I mean, it was interesting. He w brought up one thing about, um, how Pakistanis all believe in jihad. And I was like, my dude, first of all, that's, that's really racist. Um, but yeah, it's really funny. Um, still molding. He's still molding, still molding. Am I a 73 viewer, Angie? Am I up to 73 views? You're going to side with Pisco on this one? Well, do you want to come talk about it? We can talk about it. Listen, listen. We've got time until the next thing. The next thing isn't until... Um, we have another... We have 45 minutes until the panel now because he rage quit out and chickened out. Um, yeah, exactly. Yes, it was really weird. I told him that like 10 times. Watching this VOD is going to be great. This VOD is going to be mm, right up there. It's really funny. It's, it's really funny because I'll put this up with the intro segment where we go over his um, tweets and then I'll transition it in so people can get the context and more. Hey, thanks for the follow, Artemis. Guess they never miss. Um, hell yeah. He's not good. He's not, he's not, listen, he's not good at anything. I'm sorry. That's just, it's just true. Maybe he's got, um, oh, unofficial Vosh raid. <gasps> Vosh raid. Vosh raid. Vosh raid. Hello. Hello, my wonderful, wonderful VG Jeers. Much love to you. Um, what a wild debate that was. 
Um, Vosh Raid, Vosh Raid, Vosh Raid. Yeah, we're going to be going on a panel soon. So if you want to watch some spicy ass content, we're going to be talking about whether gender reassignment surgery should be covered by insurance. We're going to be talking about um, whether Democrats should pack the court. And we're going to talk about, um, what was the other one? What was the other topic? I can't remember the third topic right now off the top of my head. Let me look at it. Um, let me see here. The third topic was... Should we get rid of the Electoral College? Yeah. Hell yeah. So any of you who are uh, coming in from Vosh, if you come into my Twitch channel, you can click on there. You can join our wonderful chat. We have a really cool chat here. Um, hey, Xander Hall, how's it going? Did you did you by any chance witness the slapdown that just happened? I, I, I sure hope so. Yeah. Um, aw. Thank you. Thank you, Vermin. Much love. Yeah. Um, we had a wild time. Anybody who wants to follow, click that follow button. Come hang out in our chat. You can also follow me on YouTube if you want. Oh, um, I just went had a big debate with this like uh, super liberal guy who lied about my positions and tried to frame me as a tanky, even though I literally couldn't be farther away from a tanky. Uh, you got the wrong stereotype. He lied. Hey, thank you. Gina, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Xander Hall. Xander, welcome. Welcome to the fold. You are now a member of this demonic cult. Um... <laughs> But uh, yeah, you can use our cool emotes. Look at our sick ass emotes. Look at these. We got some sick ass emotes. These are our custom. Look at this shit. Damn. Look at them. Look at that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, the, the Proud Boy debate has not yet been rescheduled. I don't know if Suspect Sushi is still making content. I don't know if he is. I haven't seen um, right or left of this guy. Well, far right or left of this guy. Um, yeah, uh, I haven't seen him. Um, it's really funny. Um, so yeah, this guy basically lied about my position. He went on, he lied about it, lied about it, doubled down. I challenged him on stream. He evaded getting on stream with me multiple times, even though we've been on stream many times together. And then today I busted a Weasley little liar live and he rage quit the conversation, uh, and then went on Twitter and mauled it about it. He's on Twitter right now, mauling about how I'm a screaming banshee tanky, whatever it's the it's the tanky tanky man bun thing it, it's really sad um no uh rail roberto don't do that shit don't do that i won't time you out this time but if you're gonna say QAnon stupid shit i'll i'll slap you it was not peacecraft it wasn't um peacecraft is way better way way better at making arguments than lsp is peacecraft peacecraft i'm giving you the liberal of the night award Bing. listen not all liberals are bad at arguing but this one was. This one was. Um, LSP. Uh, LSP is really nice. He ha he really has a problem with women, though. He really does. I I, I know. I know that's uh, not going to be a popular take. But he's got a problem with women, and he has a a very specific problem with me. Um, the first time I ever engaged with him, I called him out on not having any fucking knowledge about um about history. He got so mad that he called me ugly, then stole my profile picture, changed his profile into Demon Mama is a pirate, and put my face on his profile for like three or four days, and then he just kept calling me ugly on Twitter for like days. So, yeah, he's a little bit of a weird guy. Um, he also was like making weird like, oh, you just want to fuck me jokes at me, and it was really fucking uncomfortable, and I told him that live. LSP's a weird guy. I don't have much love for LSP. Um, yeah, I don't really. Um... Yeah, he called me a whiner. He called me all these things, even though I literally had this, the... We had screen caps. Dylan watched the videos on his channel. Yeah, it's a little wild. Um, yeah, he does have a hate boner for me. It, it's actually kind of kind of sad. Yeah, maybe he should hook up with Carolyn Borsenko. That would be a, like a perfect match. They have like the same, um, the same sort of behavior in the way that they go around things. Um... <laughs> I can do that. I'll, um, if somebody wants the, let's see. yeah, so that was an interesting fucking stream. Um, for all of you who are just coming in, we have a little bit of downtime. We're going to talk about some politics stuff. If anybody wants to debate, um, oh, I love you too, Snowdrift Moon. Much love to you. Um, if anybody wants to come on and debate about anything, we got about Let's see. What's the time? We got about uh, 40 minutes, and then I'm going on a real spicy panel. So this is going to be... Um, it's a smaller panel this time. There's going to be me, Riley Grace Roshong. Some of you might know Riley Grace Roshong. Bastiat. Um, 
critically thinking veteran and an ANCAP named last username. You want to debate me on my Apex Legends gameplay? Okay, yeah, but me and RGR are going to be uh, presumably on the same side on a lot of issues. Um, yeah, it's going to be really cool. I've had some really great conversations with RGR. Um, yeah, yeah, so it'll be cool. Hell yeah, take your time, Gina. Do whatever you got to do. I want to debate which are better, cats or dogs. Personally, I love dogs, um, but cats are cool too. Why don't I stream Apex? I should stream Apex at some point, but probably not tonight because I'm a little bit like in the politics mode. But some night I will do Apex. Chud and I should do a live Apex stream. I'm pretty good at Apex. Chud is really good at Apex. We've gotten like four chicken dinners. It went great, ACAB Brick. He rage quit. He rage quit after calling me a stream a screaming banshee. He rage quit after demonstrating that he literally cannot understand my position no matter how hard he tries. Um, he rage quit. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Basically, um, he failed completely. Exactly like I predicted that he would do. Exactly like I promised you all that he would do. Um, his we he didn't think we were going to show the clips on stream so we showed his clip chimp that he did of me um he did a clip chimp where he literally interrupted me in the middle of my sentence in order to try to make it look bad and then he was like listen a lot of people have had problems with your take and i was like a lot of people who follow you had problems with my take because you lied about my take so it's really funny um yeah, his entire personality is a self-own. Um, I have like no I have like no good feelings about LSP at this point. This is the third time he's done this to me, and I've given him I've been fine and said, yeah, whatever, it's water under the bridge. This is enough. And so today I went all out on him. And he whined. He cried. He didn't have an argument. And this is where we are. The argument that we actually talk the argument that we were actually discussing is my beliefs on nukes. He believes I'm a North Korea stan that wants North Korea. He literally said in his tweet, um, uh, Demon Mama wants a strong North Korea, but that's not what I want. In fact, I literally advocated for quite the opposite, but you know, that's how it goes. LSP or KFC? Oh, KFC any day. K KFC? Listen, I think KFC has, I mean, I made my differences with him clear, but I've had a conversation with KFC. Yeah. Yeah, true, Peacecraft. My secret Tinder bio. It's a, it, it has a North Korea flag in the background. Um, my profile picture is um, uh, Kim um, Il... What's the one right now? Kim Kim Jong-un? Kim Jong-un. Uh, Kim Jong-un, you know. Yeah, can't let the truth get in the way of some quality clout chasing. It's really funny, too. He's like, why the fuck would I clout chase you? All of his tweets got no interactions. Mine? My community... My community loves me. My community loves me. Hey, thanks for the sub. I think that was a YouTube sub. Thank you very much for the YouTube sub. So yeah, um, welcome to everybody being here. Uh, everybody new to the channel. Um, very, very happy to have you. Um, very, very, very happy to have you here. Um, my stream, I do a lot of debates. I'm a spicy demon. That's my name, Demon Mama. You can come here and you can always expect spice. You can always expect intense debate. But I always engage in good faith to the best of my ability. LSP asked him to fuck you multiple times. Um, he was going wild. Yeah, it was very weird. It was very uncomfortable, honestly. But it's okay, because I've dealt with worse. You all saw my fanatic debate the other night. That was wild. Yeah, it was really fucking weird. It was really fucking weird. It was a weird conversation. Um, yeah, it was some... Listen, I don't do... I try to avoid blood sports, but as it turns out... Listen, this is going to be a hot take for a lot of people. A lot of people really don't like it when women argue with them. They really hate it. They really fucking hate it when women argue with them. And if you do that, you're likely to get a lot of, like, uh, people coming after you lying about you. Like, um, Fnatic, um, like, uh, LSP. So when that happens, you know... North Korea is an odd situation. Tankies do way too much apologetics for it, but there's unironically a lot of weird min misinfo about it, like the U.S. news sources saying shit like N North Korea claiming to find a unicorn skeleton. That is true. This is a discussion I've had with people. Like, because keep in mind, like, I'm not even close to a tank. I'm not even an ML. Um, like, that's not my position. Um, and you're right about that. There is a lot of disinfo. This happens to the same thing for China. It happens the same thing for Russia. And if you ever actually want to get to the bottom of things with Russia, it's or, or China or North Korea, it's actually quite hard because there is deliberate propaganda attempts. So the thing is, though, uh, the secret is to recognize that all states are bad. Yeah! Whew. 
the anarchist way. But honestly, though, the, the real thing is to recognize that states have an interest in, in, in uh, making one another look bad, and you have to keep that in mind when you're thinking about it. Yes, that's absolutely true, Xander Hall. I 100% agree with you. Gayfesh says, when I have a confession. When I was a kid, I didn't realize unicorns were myth mythical creatures. I literally thought they were just a species of horse. I thought I saw one once, but I was sure, but I'm sure it was just standing next to a tree and the branch looked like a horn. Well, isn't it weird that like we treat unicorns like they're like some weird thing, but there's all kinds of creatures that have horns. Like, I mean, there's like horses, like, like elk have horns. Like a unicorn isn't even that weird. Narwhals exist. Are you fucking kidding me? Y'all ever seen a narwhal? This shit is a real creature. I know it's like a meme, but like seriously, a narwhal is weird as fuck. Have you ever seen one? Like, look at this shit. It's literally a water unicorn. Like, look. What? Look at this shit. This is a real animal. This is like a real fucking animal. So, like, I understand why people think that unicorns might exist. Yeah, and there's a disease that makes that happen. Is this the last narwhal? No, there's tons of narwhals. Yeah, there's, there's tons of narwhals out there, apparently. Yeah, mer actually, I think mermaids were not manatees. They were dugongs, if I remember correctly. Let me see if I can find the picture. Um, this is a weird a weird turn of events. Um, but let me show you. It, it, it's a dugong. Um, let me see if there's one. There is an image that showed the dugong. Where's the thing? Where? Where's the image? I know there's an image of this. There's a disease that makes rabbits grow horns. That's where jackalopes came. I didn't know that. That's actually fucking wild. I mean, it makes sense. Um, did you know that, like, technically the narwhal's horn is not a horn? It's actually a tooth. It They, they have a tooth that grows in a curve and pokes through their head. And actually, they get, like, uh, you know how, like, babies teeth when their teeth are coming in? Same thing happens to a narwhal in its head. Kind of fucked. This is, like, a random animal fact stream now, but that's okay. Where the hell is this picture? Um, there's a thing here. It's called a dugong. Um, I'll find it. Leg? Oh, here it is. This is the one. This is the image. I found it. I found it. Wait. Oh, it just disappeared. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Really? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Ready? Look at this. Look! This is what dugongs look like when they're swimming up to the surface. It looks like legs, right? Oh, are they a type of manatee? I didn't realize that. Yeah, it looks like it's got knees. They have these bones that make it look like it has knees. So people think that um, that dugongs were dugongs were mistaken for mermaids, like way back when. Yeah, isn't that wild? This is like a really shitty quality photo, but this was the only one I could find because Google's being dumb. Stupid, sexy dugong. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. All right. Don't blame the sailors. They were on a boat for a long time. Okay. Listen, listen. All right. Yeah. It's not a man in a fish suit. That is a dugong. They have bones. Is it a beluga? Maybe that's a beluga. Okay, well, whatever. Listen, they're similar animals. The point is, a lot of um, creatures have these bones that when they're swimming in certain positions... Is he still tweeting trash? Look, look, everybody, you can see the mauled. Let's see the mauled live. How malding is he malding? Let's see. Let's see what level he... Wrong button. Yeah, here we go. Spends entire stream crying like a banshee. Ha ha, I won the debate. This is so sad. This is so sad. LSP, so sad. What a sad fellow. He has, and remember, this is the guy who accused me of being on his dick. Oh, is he, is he, is he whining in the replies? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Listen, I love this shit. Yeah, it, it, yes, exactly, because otherwise they'd be fucking dugongs all over the place. We don't want that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this cancer, which will forever make me love you as a moderator, my dude. Yeah, because the moderator wasn't super nice to him. Because the moderator didn't let him talk over me all the time. It's funny. Funny. Let's see, what else is he whining about? Yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. He's fucking, he subtweets everybody. What a sad fellow. What a sad fellow. If you sent, if you spent months on a boat suffering from scurvy and eating sawdust, you'd try to bang a fish that remotely looked human too. I can't attest to that. Maybe, maybe we would. Maybe we would. It, it could be. Maybe sailors fucked manatees and it made dugongs and that's why they have legs. Maybe that's the real secret. Maybe the manatees were just fine. Maybe they were like, wow, manatee looks good right now. 
Stranger things have happened, as we know. Remind me to never get on the bad side of Demon Mama. I will. Don't worry. Never get on the bad side of me. You hear me? No, it's okay. Listen, I, I am generally relatively fair. I am very spicy. I'm very intense, but I'm fair. I'm fair. And to be fair, most of the time, people come after me. Like, this guy was acting like I was being super offensive to him. He's just spent the last few days, like, lying about me. Like, just straight up. Glooby, you would never make me mad. You've never made me mad. You're already on the bad side. You clip chimp me advocating for genocide. That's true, gay fesh. You did. You did get me. You got me. Yeah, this... Anyway, this panel that we're going to be going on in a little bit is going to be real good. So if you're... If you are... If you're ready... For some interesting debate, super political debate with right versus left, you want to stick around because, uh, what's the time? In about 20 minutes, we're going to be going on to another panel. Hey, wait a minute. Everyone here from VGG, you know Dylan Burns, right? We're going on Dylan Burns' show. Hell yeah. Dylan Burns. My favorite thing about Demon Mama is that she's a leftist but doesn't ban people in her chat with differing opinions. That's true. That's because I value learning. I value interacting. As long as you're not dropping slurs, as long as you're not fucking being rude, as long as you're not heckling me or breaking the rules, yeah, hell yeah, stick around. I want people to learn. I want people to challenge me. I want to learn. That's why I encourage this. I mean, I think it literally says on my chat rules, we encourage, um, you know, debate. We encourage even heated debate, but you're not annoying. Listen, you can go boo in chat. That's fine. You can say boo in chat. Listen, listen, a little bit of unsports, unsportsmanlike behavior is fine. Um, just no slurs. Don't, you know, please, please make it, make my job easy. I don't want to have to fight against TOS. All right. I have more patience. Well, that is one of those things that you need to have to be a streamer. Patience is absolutely something you need to have. Do you know how many panels I've showed up to and then it's been late? Gotta have patience. It's just how it goes. Uh, I learned that from a lot of people before I even became a streamer. Yeah, so. Um, some of these people I will, you know, as you can see. Oh, oh, by the way, I rewatched my Fnatic debate. I was really nice to him for the first, like, 30 minutes of that debate. Even though he was being a total sexist asshole to me. Yeah. It's wild. It's really wild. Some people just... Just can't handle it. They can't get, they can't handle getting owned by a girl. It makes them so mad. I hate when people straw man their opponent it defeats the purpose of debate. I agree. It happens sometimes unintentionally, but when people do it intentionally to try to make you look bad, that's just, that's what we call bad faith. Is there somewhere I can find your previous debates? Yes, there is the drunk, uh, drunk rugger. Yep, it's on my YouTube. Um, you can also check out my VODs page here on Twitch. Some of the debates, um, I'm, I'm just me doing editing and occasionally Gina Ragnos has, uh, my wonderful mod and thumbnail artist has helped me with editing. Most of the time it's just me. So my, my uploads are a little slow on YouTube, but my best debates are up on YouTube. So if you want to see my best debates, they're all up on YouTube. My panels, um, I've been on some real spicy panels in the past. I did a huge debate with, um, I did a huge debate with this guy named Fnatic. He used to be a, a fighting games player, um... And uh, he freaked out on me. Absol had an absolute meltdown. Like, genuinely complete, complete meltdown. Yeah. You dropped your ballot in the mailbox last week. Last week, I felt dirty. It's okay. Listen. It's okay. I promise you, you will not feel as dirty voting for Biden as you would if Trump got reelected. If, if You won't feel as dirty if Biden wins than if Trump, you know, than if Trump won and you hadn't voted. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. I know. Yes, fanatic. Yes, yes, fanatic. That fanatic. The fanatic. The the one. You can go on my YouTube channel and check it out if you want to see. It's one of the spiciest things I've ever engaged in. Straight up, just humiliated a man live. Um, fanatic is a. He was a ex fighting games guy who is trying to get into political Twitch and um, struggling because he's an asshole, as it turns out, and a sexist and a Christian supremacist. Very weird. It's a very very weird set of positions. Yeah. He was pretty big. Yeah, he was. Yeah, hey, there you go. I'm more famous than him. Well, nowadays I I probably am. My streams pull way more viewers than um than he does. I was doubling his views the other night. He was Oh yeah, he in the debate, he tried to flex on me. He was like he was like, "When did you get partner?" Keep in mind he got partner back when the requirements were like 25 viewers. 
As a black man who grew up under Joe Biden's crime bill, I would disagree. What do you mean? What, what would you disagree with? Um, anyway, um, which part would you disagree with? I don't, I don't disagree that Joe Biden is a giant piece of shit. I mean, Joe Biden is a terrible candidate. We want, I, I literally was fucking hammering for Bernie. But the fact of the matter is we have a choice. We have a choice between Biden and, um, Trump, a fascist. Yeah. So Bernie voted for the crime bill too. I mean, true. That's true. There's not going to be a perfect candidate. We're not going to get a perfect candidate. It will not happen. I am. And here's the thing. Um, Biden is not really good on trans stuff. He's, I mean, he's better than anybody else who's running right now, which is no one. Um, but yeah, um, it's between Biden and a, and a fascist. We can organize better under Biden. You all, you've all heard this. You've heard Vosh make this argument even better than I can. But my argument is actually just slightly different than Vosh's. I, I don't go quite as hard uh, against certain types of quote unquote Bernie or Busters, but I have done a whole stream on it. So just watch the VOD. Um, that's true. That is true. I agree with that. I agree with that statement. Under Biden, deaths will go down because it will actually be taken seriously. Not seriously enough, but it will be taken seriously. I don't care about perfect candidates. I'm black, so all of them are racist. But Joe Biden literally authored the crime bill, which gave black people records that affect us to this day. I, I don't disagree with you. My, just so you know, I don't disagree with you. I think that's abhorrent. It's just that we don't have an option. We don't have a choice, unfortunately, and it sucks. Um, but r the option that we have before us is try to continue organizing under Trump or try to continue organizing under Joe Biden. And Trump will kill us. Trump will kill us. Joe Biden will probably not kill us. He might do lots of other bad things, but Joe Biden is not a uh, a law and order president. Joe Biden buys us time. Yeah, our hands are tied. It just sucks. It sucks. I'm not I'm not going to downplay that at all. It it absolutely sucks. Yeah, we're choosing our enemy, not our friend. That's a great way of putting it, Mariner. I agree. It's easier to advocate leftism under neoliberalism than fascism. Yes. In fact, I would argue that under neoliber under under the neoliberal system, we can actually make wins. We can actually show people um that we're um we can show people that our worldview is way better than theirs. Neoliberalism has nothing. Neoliberalism believes that the world is as good as it's ever going to get. The the neoliberal order wants to keep things exactly as it is and every single person everybody out there all of you in chat everybody i've ever met knows shit sucks right now with very few exceptions few people who are really privileged their lives don't suck right now but for everybody else life sucks and neoliberalism has nothing to offer the future nothing they don't have anything this is how it's going to be it's as good as it's going to get but folks back to the good old back to the just we're going to make things sane again it'll be a boring presidency again Black people have voted Dem 90% for over 50 years. If what you're saying is true, then why are we protesting yet again because of these negative results? Um, because change doesn't happen overnight. And it is a fact that the Democratic... Listen, I am no fan of the Democratic Party. Not at all. Not even close. Not even close. Um, but the Democratic Party is not a fascist party. Where... The Republican Party is a fascist party. The Republican Party has people like um, Donald Trump saying, um, when the looting starts, the shooting starts. Tom Cotton saying, we should deploy the, the 101st Airborne um, into, into Portland. We have Donald Trump boasting, boasting on national news that he's like, they didn't want to arrest Michael Ryan Owl. They just got him. They didn't want to arrest him. So yeah, that's the problem. It's, it's, that's the, that's the place we find ourselves in. And it sucks. It absolutely sucks. Trust me. I'm a trans woman in America. I know. I, I, I feel you. I understand. The Democratic Party is a failure. But we, um, but we, however, can show that why the Democratic Party fails. If we're under the Republican Party and they remove democracy altogether, we don't have a shot at that. A lot of people are going to die. I'm doing the Lord's work, but if they need to be convinced to vote against Trump, no, I don't think so. I disagree with you, SJW9000. I don't think that they're a waste of time. No, I don't think so. Um, no, I don't think it does. Uh, uh, 
conservatism offers nothing to black people. Nothing at all. Hey, Zanzi, thank you so very much for the raid. Deeply appreciated. Welcome, all of the Zanzi viewers. Things are getting spicy in here. We're about to go on a big panel, and you're going to get to see me debate a whole bunch of other people. Left versus right. Bastiat, RGR, Demon Mama, last username, all on Dylan Burns' panel. So you will get it. You will get the spice. Don't you worry. You missed the first spice, but now it's time for second spice. You know, like the hobbits, second breakfast. You've had first breakfast, but what about second breakfast? You've had first spice, me blowing the fuck out of a weaselly little liar named LSP, and now it's time for second spice, which is me blowing the fuck out of a bunch of right-wingers. There you go. A veritable bazaar of spice. Every spice you could possibly imagine is going to be right here. So, the finest pipe weed in the Shire. That's what you're going to get right here. I'm a spice merchant. That's true. I you, you come to me and you go, you go, spice merchant, give me your strongest spice. And I go, you cannot handle my spice. You cannot handle my spice warrior. That's what I do. There's this weird focus. Uh, Chud Logic says there's this weird focus on online lefties and people voting green. Statistically insignificant. It's actually apolitical non-voters that are significant block of voters that have the biggest power to swing an election. Yes, that's true. The biggest block of voters is un is unpolitically activated people. I am going on a quest, and I require your strongest spice. You cannot handle my spice, traveler. <laughs> yeah, white people in a roadie shop. Yep. I don't know if I said that right, but here's the thing. I've made this take before about third parties. Um, talk, okay, the, the thing about third parties, here's what I argued. Um, here And here's my argument on, on um, green party or on uh, third parties. All of the third parties should recognize that none of them will ever, none of them will ever win. They will never have success unless voting uh, first past the post is reformed. We can't have any victory in a first-past-the-post system for anything other than the Republican and Democrat parties unless, like, the Republican Party collapses and then another one will take its place and it will be a duopoly again. So all third parties should unite in pushing the country towards ranked choice, instant runoff, or one of these other more democratic forms of government. Um, until then, yeah. Ades Mullet says the intellectual choices can f out of the window. I'm sorry you have to choose bad or least bad. If if I think if you don't think Trump is so bad, then I don't know what to say. He is bad. But the thing is, some people listen, listen. I I don't like. I I think some people um I think some people get really really up on a high horse and assume that everyone else is at the same level of political education as they are. Green parties. The Green Party makes a pretty good case. For many people um, as to why you should vote for them. But the fact of the matter is a lot of people don't understand that in a first past the post system, it's damn near mathematically impossible that anything except for a third part, a third, uh, I mean, uh, the two parties win. We have ranked choice voting and still end up with single party governments. The ranked choice just diversifies the opposition, doesn't get a more diverse government. Yes, it's only the first thing, but they should be pushing for that reform. That's what they should be pushing for because that would make, instead of wasting money on campaigning as a third party, imagine if they came together and pushed for that. They would actually get reforms through. This is the problem. I'm generally against vote shaming with other POC because we have to vote with our interests in mind, even though I disagree with their vote in general because of duopoly. Yeah, I don't, I don't really, look, I don't really go for the vote shaming route. Some people go that way. I don't do that. I want people to understand why, why I tell them they should vote in the duopoly currently. And it's not, it's nothing personal. Voting should not be personal. Voting is like, it really shouldn't be. It shouldn't be a personal choice. It's a strategic choice. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. You have two choices, Trump or Biden. Yeah, I know. I don't know what you're talking about, 80s mullet. I don't disagree with you. I don't disagree with you. I just disagree with the way that you go about it. I don't think that, pe that vote shaming helps anybody. I just don't. I don't think it's convincing. Yeah, you're yeah, exactly. Yes, yes. No, your, your vote isn't personal. You're not, you're not giving them anything. A vote is just how you strategically navigate a hostile political environment slightly, slightly in your favor. That's it. It's just one. 
is there any evidence or studies that vote shaming actually works? Probably not specifically for vote shaming, but there's all kinds of, um, there's all kinds of studies that have been done on the inefficacy. Uh, well, okay. Shaming in certain circumstances does work. There are times where you can shame someone and it will work, but, um, vote shaming, not, I don't know. Like in a lot of things, shaming doesn't work people. It doesn't work on people. Uh, shaming people only works, um, I don't even know. I don't even know if it really works to convince individuals. The thing that shaming can be useful for is like, for example, if you like mask shame people, they won't go in public without a mask because they'll be ashamed, which fixes the problem. The reason why I advocate for shaming people about masks is because if they feel uncomfortable enough in public to wear a mask, they've done the thing that you want them to do. And that's the goal. But vote shaming doesn't do that because it's in private. They go and vote in private. So vote shaming doesn't necessarily do anything. They'll just say, fuck you, and then go vote on however they want in once they're in private they might even tell you in public but you don't want that the goal is to the goal is to convince them to vote in the direction that you want not to say that they will whereas with mask shaming the goal is to just get them to put the fucking mask on when they're in public yeah stochastic shaming yeah hmm. it's about the people watching yeah more or less Vote shaming only makes me angry, not going to lie, because it's often directed at me or people like me who don't have the same view as white people do about Biden versus Trump. Well, I can I can understand that. Um, and there is some mis just some genuine miscommunications going on between um, certain camps. Um, it's complicated. We've had this conversation a few times, but I'm OK to dip into it again. I just have to keep an eye on the time. Uh, let me get into the chat. Let me see here. Uh, let me just get prepped in the chat joining hold on give me a second here okay all right i'm deafened we're in the collins chat we got bastiat in there we got rgr in there are we doing whereby yeah we're doing whereby okay so we're gonna have cams for this beautiful beautiful running to the debate with toast in my mouth that's literally what i'm doing right now just give me a second here i'm going to knock and then we have 10 minutes to chill my problem is nihilistic people with platforms using POC as a shield. Yes, I don't think that you should do that. I don't think you should do that for anyone. Hey, look at this. Bam, this is what you have to look forward to. A bunch of beautiful faces duking it out. This is going to be really interesting. Um, Yeah, this should be really, really fucking interesting. I don't know much about CTV. I've never, I've never talked to him, so we'll see. Uh, no, my camera will not poop out today. Um, thankfully, uh, the problem that happened, I re I figured out what happened the other day. I forgot to charge my, um, camera. I had plugged it in, but it wasn't plugged into the wall. So my camera ran out of batteries in the middle of stream, which sucks. Um, unfortunately when streaming high quality video, my battery can't keep up. So yeah. Hey, thanks for the follow Benantau. Happy to have you. My money's on the person with the bookshelf in the background. That is Bastiat. Um, bookshelf background, Zoom callers usually got a chip on their shoulder. Bastiat's pretty cool. I've had a couple conversations with him. He's pretty cool. Um, I don't agree with him. Am I a snowflake? I am not. I am the least snowflake person you can imagine. Um, I will basically debate anybody. Um, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty brave. Pretty fucking brave. Pretty not snowflakey. I'm the queen of ice and fire. Talk to Bastiat about American imperialism. No, I've done that before, actually. I already have had that conversation. It was quite a while ago before I streamed. Um, Bastiat is okay when he's not shitting on leftists, yeah. Snowflakes don't last long in hell. That's true. How could I be a demon mama if I was a snowflake? It's true. It's true. I protect snowflakes, though. That's what I do. I protect the snowflakes from assholes, basically, and other snowflakes. Is Bastiat a centrist? Oh, mind waves went to bat for me? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Ah, look at the mold. Look at the cope. Damn, dude. Congrats. You're insufferable. And then LSP just says, your face. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Mind waves. Thank you, mind waves. I appreciate the... I appreciate the backup. Yeah, it was pretty bad. He didn't even listen to my... Again, LSP didn't listen to my position at all. Yeah. If you're going to go to war for spice, you better be ready for the spice. LSP. LSP was stuck. LSP didn't want to talk with me at all. Wait, let me just say. Let me just make sure nobody's talking. It looks like people are talking. I don't know if they're talking to their chat or what. I don't want to be late. I don't want to be late for the panel. Uh, where? There it is. Let's see. 
Okay, nobody's nobody's on yet. Nobody's on live. Wait. Yes, we are, but everybody's still deafened. What kind of spice are we talking about? We're talking about Demon Mama's special homemade spice brought straight to you, forged in the fires of hell. <laughs> I'll bet he eats sour cream with Tums because the sour cream is too spicy. Do I, I support open immigration? Um, yeah, by and large, yes. In the long run, absolutely. Um, how we actually get there in the short run is complicated, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, listen. Don't, no need to. I already showed that he's a, he's a coward. And that video, that VOD, VODs are forever, baby. So he's going to get that, he's going to get that VOD and it's going to be... I hope that was what he was hoping for. He tried to dodge the debate with me twice. And he kept shit-talking me. He dodged a debate and he kept shit-talking me. And then I engaged in good faith and gave him the argument. And, uh, still fucking, still fucking wouldn't debate me. It's real sad. Extremely bad faith. I don't know what you mean by that. I think there are Mexicans in this chat. And I love Mexicans. Just like I love everybody else. So what the fuck are you talking about? Um, he realized that without Dylan, he was fucked. So he dipped out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he was fucked. He was embarrassed. He embarrassed himself. He absolutely embarrassed himself and was proven, um, wrong by video, by, by video. Dylan even joked about it. Dylan was like, you don't have video evidence of him being literally a weasel. I'm like, I don't. <laughs> yeah. I think it's false to try this so-called infiltration strategy and pushing the DNC to the left. That's not what we're doing. That's not the goal. The goal is not to push the DNC to the left. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Um, it's not, the goal is not just, I mean, that would be a great thing if we could get it. The goal is to not die, to buy us time to continue organizing and actually make meaningful changes. We're not going to be, we're not going, I don't know that we'll be able to pull the DNC to the left. It might happen, but it, it probably won't. It probably won't. But, um, hey, hello, T-R-E-C-E-T-C-27. Happy to see you. How are you? Um... Looks like it might be starting soon. It might be starting soon. I don't know. I'm keeping an eye on it. Sorry if there's a little bit of a delay. We're waiting on the panel to begin. Um, but yeah, we're not necessarily going to be pulling the DNC. We need to radicalize people. And to radicalize people, we need time. I don't think that the DNC is going to go particularly far left. But that's not the goal. Imagine having massive immigration that will make low-paying jobs even worse because there will be people who are willing to do it below mi minimum wages. So much more scams. Well, that's just not true. That hasn't been shown out. That hasn't been borne out in statistical data. Immigration helps nations. It doesn't actually lower wages. That's actually a uh, misconception. The more open our immigration is, the better our economy goes. In fact, there's only one very small slice of the population that um, has a very minor, dis um, a very minor um, negative impact, and that is... Uh, people who don't have high school degrees, people who don't have high school degrees, their wages are harmed by like one or 2%. Um, but that can easily, like, it's such a small amount that you can easily save money by offering, um, programs to either help them get an, an education, to offer them, um, societal support or anything. And it uh, offsets it because every other category of people, their wages go up with immigration. Yeah, I know. It's okay, though. Remember, as long as he's not dropping slurs, dog whistles, shit like that in chat. Bento Box? Is that his name? Bento Box? I don't know. Um, panel's a little bit late. It's okay. Well, actually, it's not. We got three more minutes. Damn, we got 87 viewers. All of you who are here right now, deeply appreciate it. We're about to go on a very spicy panel with Dylan Burns. I better change the name of the debate real quick. Um, huge hippie Dippy podcast, trans rights, uh, packing the courts, and electoral, and abolishing the electoral college. Here we go. So it's about to get real spicy in here. It's about to get real spicy. So if you're ready, yeah, it's cool seeing me on VGG, isn't it? Look, let's see. Let's let's spy in. Let's spy in. That's Vosh's channel. Let's buy. Oh, wait, I can't. I can't do that on Twitch. I can't do that on Twitch. Damn it. I can't. Listen, I can't look at it on Twitch, right? No, the site is not, my site is not live. I am being hosted by Vosh right now. Um, that's great. 
Well, good for you, Bentao. That's wonderful. This is too much of a conversation. Uh, Bentao, we can talk about this after if you want to. You can even come on and we can debate about it after, but we have to do the panel first. I got to go on a panel like in like literally like two minutes. So we'll have to wait on that one. You'll just have to wait. Be patient. Yeah, I'm getting hosted by VGG. We have a bunch of wonderful VGGers. My favorite community, outside of my own, of course. I have, a, I have a bias towards my own community. But there's a lot of overlap. A lot of VGGers hang out over here, which makes sense because I spend a lot of time on VGG. Um, wait, wait. Black First Gaming, listen. The argument is not that the Democratic Party isn't bad. It's that they're not as bad as the, as the Republicans. The Republicans are significantly worse significantly worse.